<laughs> hello, hello, hello. Welcome hello. to the next set of sprints. And prompt drop happened two hours ago. Everybody was already on, picking their books. I'm so, so excited. And I'm going to go around and introduce everybody. We First, we've got, yeah, i got to figure out my fingers. We've got Kim from Expedition Through Pages. Hello. <laughs> hello. How is everyone doing? Sorry. <laughs> No, what are you reading for this one? So this one I'm reading Love Marriage by Monica Ali. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it's about. I think it follows two doctors who are about to get married and it's about their families and how they interact with each other and all that stuff. That's all I know so far. Um, there are flowers on here on the cover. They're like tiny, tiny little flowers, <laughs> but they are there, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got nope yes then we've got, <laughs> we've got wait 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 <laughs> danielle from bakara <laughs> <Hi. laughs> what are you reading i am reading the prison healer by lynette noni Ooh. i know this was like a lot of people's favorite book last year so that makes me excited Ooh. what is but that one about um, a prison healer. <laughs> I don't know, honestly. Are you reading I just one know. for William? Yes. This is going to be because I'm going for Godseer. So this is my book with a healer in it. So perfect. That should work. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And it has flowers on the cover. Yes. And YA, right? And it's YA. Yeah, yeah it's easy, you, so you're just hitting all of it. I didn't even mean to do that, but I'm fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> Down below, we've got Amy from Amy's Bookish Life. Hi. Tell us what you're reading. So I'm still working on my animal companion. So I'm at flashback. I am 50, almost 60% done with it. So That's a big book. I mean, that is it is, but it's middle grade and it goes really fast. Like it's not like high fantasy, but it goes really fast. It really does. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> Which one is that one in the series? Seven. 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 Okay. Ooh, seven. Awesome. What kind of animal companion is it? Or are you allowed to tell? Um <laughs> it's it's an alicorn, but that's oh, a bad I, bit spoilery, but not I really because it she's is, so. on the cover of the second book. It's a unicorn with wings. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Well, these are my wonderful hosts for today, and I have all the information that you need to find their channels in the description box below. So please do go find them and subscribe to them. And um, if you have not already seen Prop Drop, I have linked it. I think I've linked it in this video. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure. And check that out. There's also a couple little places you can find it. So I am going to be reading. Got some weird noise going on. Yeah. Hear it too. Is that me? Who was that? Yeah. I moved it. Oh, it's Amy. It's me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It sounds like a didgeridoo. <laughs> it's just my computer. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's working extra hard to keep you on here and happy and feeling good. Yeah. So, I've got a YA with a flower on the cover. <laughs> and this is for my Aurelium also. So this works for my lore prompt because it's got King Yama in it, which is a Chinese mythological god of the undead. And so I'm excited about this one. I finally, I've been mentioning I'm going to pick it up for a long time and I'm finally going to pick it up for this. The prompt so. dropped is in the, or prompt drop number two is in the description. I checked. Okay. Of this cool. video. Awesome. All right. So let's see what everybody else is doing. Welcome. Hey. Hey, Magda. Hi, Stacy. Welcome, Tony. Good morning, Lynn. Hi, Kareen. Michelle's not feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> Time to catch You guys were on really late last night. I, I know. Out. Oh, yeah. I made <laughs> it through like the first two, and then I was like, uh, I'm done. Yeah. I was happy. I woke up, and you guys were still going. I was like, yes, oh, straight wow. away. <laughs> yeah. 
It was like 1230, I think, when we finally got off, something like that. Yeah, it was five and a half hours. It was a long, long set of wow. sprints. Yeah. 1230 your time. That was like yeah, 230 30. our yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Hello, Liana. Hey, Martine. Um, hey. Morning reading. Oh, mom's reading the Poison Heart by Kate. Oh, you want to come show yours, mom? Poison Heart. She's coming. Okay. I guess poison and flowers makes sense. Morning, everybody. Oh, oh I love that color. Oh, mm -hmm. That's really pretty. The Poison yeah. Heart. Mm -hmm. Nice. What's her name? Kaylin Byron. Bayron. 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 I have no idea what it's about. I'm excited though because there's definitely pretty flowers along the edge and the cover's gorgeous if I could get the light off of it. But yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Anything like this in our sprint time, so I'm hoping so. It looks okay. fat to me. Yeah. We'll see. You're fat. pretty fat too. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. It's pretty yeah. gorgeous yeah. with the light. Yeah. I know. It's a, it's a beautiful book. Yeah. Um, reading the Rose and the Dagger. Ooh, that sounds appropriate. <laughs> what is that? Is that a part of a series? I think reading Comfort Me with Apples. It does. Yeah. It has flowery bits on the cover. It's Kayla Weird. Yeah, that's that uh, horror one, I think, that a lot of people are actually really enjoying. Is that the one that's like Stepford, uh, Stepford Wife esque vibes? Yeah, I'm actually interested. It sounds very intriguing. I don't mm -hmm. know that I would like it though. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, I, I think that was the one I would probably try. Yeah, I think I'm eventually. I think I might. Yeah. Uh, Stacy's all booked. Good morning. It's only about 112 pages long. That is nice. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. short. Yeah. That's fantastic. Exile was mm -hmm. too. Yeah, so it's not too it's not too spoilery to say that it's an alicorn. Like Syl Sylvanie is the name of the alicorn, and she like comes in book two. Yeah, book two, and she's on the cover. So it's not like a see it, she's <laughs> like right there. Nope, that's too small. You can't see that. <laughs> but <laughs> um <laughs> So it's not like a super spoilery thing, but she doesn't come into the series until book two. So it's, I mean. Okay. There's so a unicorn not... with wings in the series. Yeah, that's guys. cool. I'm sorry. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> that series is supposed to be so good. I want to get to that. That just seems mm -hmm. like such a fun one and a fun middle grade, but there's so many of them and they're so big. It is intimidating, even though they're middle grade. I forget. <laughs> They're just so, they, you know, I mean, every chapter ends on a cliffhanger. So you're like <laughs> propelled forward, you know. Yeah. For I think the we, were, we were talking about how the um, Krista and I are reading it together, my friend Krista. And we were talking about how she's so good at making it middle grade because it's got like this these serious like things that are happening. But then all of a sudden she'll have this little imp come in and like letting off these toxic farts that they're all like trying to deal oh, with. No. And it's just like, so you're just like laughing hysterically and then you just keep going. And then it's like, it just breaks. I get up so annoyed by fart humor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you probably, I don't do know it. that it's yeah, of this. It's maybe 1%. So I mean, oh, okay. You know, I, but it's more like to break up those really tense sections where kids probably would yeah. feel a lot of stress. And then you just bring in that, that, that actually is so clever. That's very clever right. what the author to do for, for little kids. I like that. Right. Yeah. We were like, that's not really something that we care about as adults, but like yeah. my students would be like, Oh, Miss Bowman, there's an imp in here that farts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Martine's reading perfect 10 by L Phillips, which I hauled recently. I love your dollar hall tree, uh, dollar mm. tree hauls. Oh my gosh. I still need to watch it. I have it on my list. Much fun. I love so much her Dollar fun. Tree hauls. Me too. Love them. Me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're the best. They're good. <laughs> good morning, <H>. Sandy. <laughs> I'm sure that would be high. Or so H to you too. That's a that's a pre coffee hello. <laughs> yeah, <that's> pre <laughs> I'm not the other I yet. I'm not, I'm not the I yet. <laughs> <laughs> not quite there. Not quite there. I'm reading the cozy tea shop in the castle by Caroline Roberts. All these cozy mm -hmm. mysteries have been fun mm -hmm. to see 
like a lot of people are reading cozy mysteries for this. Yeah. Last night, I, there was at least three or four people reading cozy mysteries. Yeah. Reading well, Anne's read House of Dreams. Yeah. Uh, Meg is reading Anne's House of Dreams. Uh, Naomi was talking about that today. I watched her her uh, TBR this morning, and she's reading that for me. I have not, still haven't read Anne of Green Gables yet, so. No, I, I want to read that as well. Everybody loves it so much. Yeah, they do. Have you guys read it? Okay. Yes, I love I love it, but I haven't read any other Anne books. I didn't even know that yeah. that was the same. How many are there? Anything. There's a lot, aren't there? I think so. Eight? Seven? Or eight? And there's some offshoot ones, too, I think. I'm not an expert, but I've only read the first one. This <laughs> well, my sister has read all. My sister read all of them, and she had all of them. Mm -hmm. um, so I have like her old set in my classroom. My yeah, most and I really like the Netflix Anne with an E. Mm -hmm. too. I loved Anne with an E so much. Yeah, yeah that was good. Okay, well, I, I, that one. That one looked. If really you good. have Audible, if you have Audible, like the Audible Plus, Amy Adams reading Anne of Green Gables. Ah. So good. I like she does such a good job. That's you don't like know. her? No, I like it. Amy Adams. <laughs> oh. Amy Adams. I mean, you're allowed. <laughs> She's an Amy. Hate an Amy. <laughs> I think, no, it's Rachel McAdams. Rachel McAdams. I'm sorry. Rachel McAdams. I mean, I can But she does a really good time. time. Yeah. They're, <laughs> they're practically entertaining. They don't look a lot alike, but... <laughs> But their names are too. So I think it's Rachel McAdams, but it's okay. really. I like Rachel McAdams. She does a really good job. Is that the lady in the notebook? Yes. yes. That's Rachel McAdams. Yeah. Is it? Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like And Mean too. Girls. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. And. Mm. Next one. <laughs> Sandy Hayes, everybody good reading Cruel Prince. Oh, does that have flowers? Oh, the yeah. I, I have that from the library, too. It has thorns on it, for sure. Yeah, I know that would count thorns. as a flower, because thorns yeah. mean flowers. True. True. Absolutely. Right? I don't Hang know. Hang on. Was I allowed to use a book with a leaf? No. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's your readathon. It's fine. I'm right. <laughs> We're just here to have fun, people. <laughs> that was a really aggressive no. I just, that was so aggressive. Only because you missed the conversation about uh, Kim's flowers on the cover. <laughs> what exactly happened, Kim? I was reading Station Eleven, and... Uh, it's got loads of leaves on the cover and I was like, we're thinking, well, flowers grow with leaves, so it kind of counts. And then I took it to my partner and I showed him and I was like, does this work for flowers on the cover? And he just said to me, what did he say, Amy? He said, does it look like it has flowers on the cover? What a great response, but what is it? Can you see flowers on the cover? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Do you see flowers in the cover? No. It's like what you would say to a little kid. <laughs> Did you look that hard? Like when you're saying, I can't find it. Did you look that hard? <laughs> that was that was awesome. I'm sorry, Kim. I had to share that because it was so cute. <laughs> But I just wrap it, no. wrap it in tissue no. paper and draw a flower on it. It's fine. <laughs> well, I actually like crocheted some flowers yesterday. So I was like, if I just hold these on the cover yeah. the whole time. Just be like, do you see the flower now, hon? <laughs> He's very nice. He's very nice. <laughs> I'm in a cross very badly. <laughs> Yeah. No, 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 no. You I, say I, lots of nice things about him. It's okay. Yeah, you've always said wonderful things. I just, I just thought that was amazing. It was such an amazing response. <laughs> Gave me a good chuckle. Shell's reading Heartstopper Volume 3. Have you read the, uh, have you watched the series yet, Shell? Have any of you guys, you guys, anybody read Heartstopper? Mm -hmm. I haven't either. Look at us. Look at us. Oh, <laughs> going against the grain. I know. Wow. Mom, Mom watched the series and she's already watched it twice. She loves it. She's never read the book, so. Ah. Yes, yeah, really great it. reviews that series. 
Yeah. 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 Kareen says Poison Heart was so good. Oh, good. Mom will enjoy it. I already read some more of Hawthorne 2 today up to page 136 and today I'll be yeah I was going to mention Kim Kimberly that I'm reading a Twisted Tale also so we're Twisted Tale buddies hmm. which have flowers on probably most of the covers so I want to read some of those they sound so good they do and they're fun you know like the concept of this is an actually actually an adaptation of the movie the Disney movie mm -hmm. yeah, yeah that cover. So I'll tell you how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the second book after The Wrath of the Dawn by Rene Audier. Okay. Which I've heard good things about. Has anybody read The Wrath of the Dawn? Mm -hmm. the Dawn? I've heard really good things about that one. Going to start Farewell Summer by Ray Bradbury. Not YA, but has Danny Lane on the cover. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That worked out perfectly. Poison Heart is so good. Five stars. Ooh. All right. Mm -hmm. Want to finish Lamplighter's got 100 pages left. I feel like I've seen that cover. I think we talked about that. I don't know. <laughs> Good morning, Natalie. Thank you for doing this at nine, not seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll be using these sprints to get through some homework. Oh, I hear you. I understand that feeling. <laughs> I have to jump out of chat to help my husband, but we're listening to a lesson in vengeance while doing so. That's a that one definitely has flowers in the cover. It's a good choice. Although that mm -hmm. one gets really mixed reviews. Any of you read that one? No, I don't know what that is actually. I've heard I've only heard good things about that one, but it's dark academia. YA. Yeah. And I've heard more mixed reviews, so that's funny. Yeah. Um I think but, I've only heard good things about it. I don't know. It's got a pretty cover. But I haven't read it, so I can't. Yeah. Oh yeah, the cover's really nice. I'm just looking at it. Yeah. yeah. It's about uh, these girls in the school where there is apparently there were like some murders of the girls or there were girls that went missing or something like that. And now there's and they're all witches. They're, they're, there's like this club of witches or something like that. And so now these girls it, it's too much <laughs> <laughs> There's a synopsis out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be listening to the Return of the King, Lord of the Rings, Rings, which on my copy appears to have wreath of flowers on the cover. Perfect. Except for Shell, she didn't love it. Oh, you read um, mm, the Poison Heart Shell and you didn't love it? Is that one I made you read? Probably. I'm reading All the Crooked Saints by Maggie Stiefvater. I haven't read anything by her either yet. I don't think this is the one that I thought I, that I was thinking of. A lesson in vengeance. What were you thinking? I don't know what I think I was think, thinking of, but looking at this, this is not the cover. But it's gorgeous. But this isn't the cover that I was thinking of. I don't know what I was thinking of, but so I don't know what I've heard about it. <laughs> <laughs> Full disclosure. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was pretty coffee. LOL. But she meant pre coffee. <laughs> Apparently, can't talk to me. Free coffee, not pretty coffee. It's okay, Sandy. Coffee's pretty. Coffee is pretty. Oh, yeah. coffee is pretty. My cup is really pretty. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's nice. This is an Alcrate cup. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Leaves are flower adjacent. <laughs> oh, Anne of Green Gables. Grumpy but gorgeous. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> so true. So true. <laughs> <laughs> have not watched it. Oh, Heartstopper, Heartstopper. Yes, so Shell hasn't been loving the Heartstopper graphic novels um, as much as other people have been loving them. But, yeah. I think she's talking about Anna Green Gables, though. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. That's a little while down. Yeah, it is a while. Down. Just Maybe keep going. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> that was the one that she didn't love. Right. I don't know. Okay, 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 okay. My week has been only Heartstopper. Reading, watching, sharing, scrolling, etc. Yeah, everybody's Aww. everybody's all Heartstopper this week. Or the last couple of weeks, actually. I would love to read my book, but I'll be working on my final project. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's... I've, been, nice. I've read all the... <laughs> of all the reds, ones that are out, but haven't watched the show, I feel so behind because a lot of people I follow have already watched it multiple times. Yeah, Matt, I'm sure she's talking about Heartstopper. Because... 
it's like all the rage. Gavin just did yeah. a video where he was like reviewing it and he got like over a hundred thousand views already. So it's super popular that Heartstopper. Yeah. Um, I mean he's he's a popular booktuber anyways. Right. But it still is a lot. Yeah. For, mm -hmm. I've read straight on till morning, Twisted Tale based on Wendy, but wasn't sure what I thought of it. I have reflection as well, so give that one a go soon, hopefully. Yeah, I'm, I've heard this is one of the better ones. I mean, some people say they absolutely love the whole series, but I've heard that, that of the books, this is one of the, the stronger ones. So, sorry that Straight On Till Morning wasn't the best for you. I think I have the Frozen one on my Kindle. Like, it was free one day. Mm -hmm. Conceal Don't Feel, I think it's called. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I have that on my Kindle. Okay. I don't remember. I'm going to read a mystery that is called For the Love of Mike. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And good morning, Naomi. Oh, so Michelle did not live in Green Gables. Okay. Not excited to read it, but it's for a book club and one edition has flower on the cover. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. I mean, I love a mystery. Yeah, me too. I do too. I Hopefully feel left out that I don't have a fun mug. I know, I want to show you mine now. I love my mug. It's got like rain clouds on and it's all That's gold. That's beautiful. That is gorgeous. You can't, really, you can't really see properly, but yeah. It's really oh no, I see it. It's beautiful. <laughs> and what was your mug there, Amy? I'm sorry, I missed it. <laughs> it says black stag. <laughs> 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 it's got a black stag on it. It's fancy. <laughs> Lynn's on uh, their 19th book. I don't have time to watch TV this month. Yeah. I, I tend to. Huh? I said 19. Yeah, that's a lot. It's pretty good. Good. I tend to pick of books over. Month? 19th book of the month? Mm hmm. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. It's impressive. That's a good month. All right, are we ready for our first sprint? Mm -hmm. I am. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let us. Uh, should we start with thirty minutes? Yes. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. If I fall asleep, <laughs> just shout. <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey! <laughs> we'll scare everyone else if we do that. Oh yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's get this party started. Wow, I'm so like lame this morning. I'm just so tired. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> We're more getting warmed up. Okay. All right, here we go. Ready, set, go.
Hello. Welcome back. Hi. Hello. How'd it go? Mine's so good. Is uh, it? Ooh. Yeah. I like ah, it. Good. Nice. How many yeah, mine surprised me. It's funnier. It's funnier than, sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. Yeah, it's funnier than I thought it was going to be. And it's because it's based in London. I'm like familiar of all the places they're talking about as well, which is always nice when you read something. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that too. Yeah. I made it to page 15. Nice. Oh, I'm almost done with the second chapter. Awesome. What is it about now that you've gotten a little there's bit into like, it? There's like this, this prison. It's called like Zalandov or something. And... So there was kind of like a little like prologue or intro or whatever and it happened like 10 years prior and this little girl who's like family was into healing or whatever they for whatever reason got got surrounded by guards and like she went to this prison and survived and like which is not normal like but she's had like some of the jobs that I guess aren't so hard on you or like that you're more likely to survive at within mm -hmm. the prison. And anyway, I don't know. I don't really know. And I can't, I can't really figure out if like they keep throwing all these people in prison, like who is sustaining the, <laughs> the, the kingdom or the, you know, like if everybody's in jail, like, I don't know. I haven't got that far yet, but <laughs> I just like I like I really like the writing like she writes how I think in my head so mm -hmm. I'm reading and it sounds like me almost like talking back to myself it's like the way I talk is how she writes and so oh, cool. I'm like really comfortable with it good good that's awesome that's a good start yeah so I read five um, pages you did what I read 35 pages Nice. How's, how's it going? God, I have to, um, uh, message my Chris, my friend Krista before I keep reading so I can record some thoughts. Yeah. But, it's, but if any reads are so fun for that, like having someone to chat with. Mm -hmm. Kim's my yeah. pseudo buddy read partner for, um, Ship of Des Ship of uh, Ship of Destiny. <laughs> I nearly messaged you the other day, actually asking how it was going, but I don't think you're reading it at the moment, are you? I haven't been reading much at the moment. <laughs> no, I mean that's totally understandable. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm hoping to pick it up. I mean, I will be picking it up. I'll be finishing it in April, but I'm hoping to pick it up sooner in the month. Uh, had or May. I had to drop a class, May. so <laughs> yeah. So maybe mm -hmm. I'll have a little more time to read. We'll see. <laughs> Um, yeah, I was, I was pissed, <laughs> but oh well, um, I, I had to take CC out and get some more coffee, but I read 12 pages and this is going to read fast because there's like not a ton of paid words on each page and it picks up right where the movie leaves off where Mulan's about to use the cannon to blow the, you know, and it, it picks up just like it reads in the movie. So that's kind of cool. I like how the author did that. Like you actually feel like you're watching the movie and then it just takes mm -hmm. a different turn. Um, yeah. In the very beginning, it takes a different turn. Whereas, I mean, I don't want to spoil anything for people who haven't seen Mulan. I but... haven't seen Mulan, but I, I was just thinking like, so are you saying it changes it from the end of the movie? No, this is like midway through the movie or oh, okay. slightly mm -hmm. toward the beginning. There's one thing that happens and instead of them all surviving one person doesn't survive in in this book ah. and it, it goes from the scene where they all survive but it's, you know like in the movie and then yeah. instead one person is not going to survive this scene so it was really clever the way the author did that i thought yeah, yeah, i don't yeah. know if that's how the other twisted tales are but i was like oh okay but it actually puts you back in the movie, you know, your mind, it, it's written in a way that feels very much like the Disney movie. So it like puts you back in that mindset, like you're in that scene. And then also all of a sudden things go just slightly different and it's going to change the whole course of the story. Yeah. Which I think is cool. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Neat. 
was like, oh, okay. As and, long as they and, don't and, kill off your favorite character, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's my favorite male uh, Disney princess. Prince, prince. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, my favorite. He's my favorite male Disney prince, except maybe oh. Flynn Rider. But yeah. Oh no! <laughs> it's functional. It's all that matters. I don't remember what that re pertains to. Um, I think the mug. My mug. Oh, 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 yes, your mug. Yes. Black stag. Your black stag. Yes, it is functional. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Leanna likes this. Oh, Kim's hey, mug Leanna. was really cool. Yeah. Yes. yes. It was really cool. Yeah, and Way cooler cool. than mine. <laughs> it has a stag on it. That's pretty cool. It does. Yeah, that is true. It does. That's so cool. <laughs> Oh, uh, Chelsea says, yeah, Natalie, I want to watch it. Just haven't had the time yet. She's talking about Heartstopper series. But up to date on the books, it's on my list. Yeah, I haven't been reading. I mean, I, I watch BookTube, and that's pretty much all I have time to watch. It's terrible, but true. Hey, Amanda. Hi, late, but finishing up editing my video for the day. Still got to catch up on the one from yesterday. Still can't read. Want to keep editing through the sprint. Hope that's going well, or went well. And then 26 pages I need to head out for a bit and we'll see if you're still in later. Thanks for the sprint. Thanks for joining, Link. Mm -hmm. uh, 93. 93. 39% mm, done. Awesome shell. <laughs> <laughs> 27 pages read so far. Awesome. That's great. Yeah, Only that's got through 23 minutes of chapter 9 because this is a buddy listen with the mister who interrupts a lot. That's the best I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have those kind of buddy reads. <laughs> well, I would be the one driving Chris to nuts if we had to listen to it at the same time because she'd be like, dude. <laughs> she'd be like, sorry. She's a fast reader. She's a little she's a little faster than I am. How do you guys plan out your buddy reads? Do you do like a certain number of pages a day or a week or something? We just mess so like the first books we were doing like seven seven chapters at a time and then we would message each other. Um and these chapters are so long. They're mm -hmm. I mean I read two chapters and it was 30 pages. And that's a lot. So we've yeah. been messing each other, each, each other, each other every two to three chapters. We've been messaging, messaging each other with this one because there's one where the it was 30 pages was one chapter. Mm -hmm. I was crazy. like, why are the chapters all of a sudden super long when they're usually like five, maybe 10 pages and now they're 30 pages? Oh, yeah, that's strange. So the authors so, just changed the way they format it. I think just more stuff was happening in each each scene. Like it's just kind of there's just a whole lot happening, and so it's just more to talk about. So we've been we've been messaging at small smaller interval intervals, which I think is the same amount of pages practically, but smaller intervals just because. Yeah, I had a similar experience actually with the last Robin Hobb book that I read. I buddy read them with my stepmom. And for some reason, you know, Hobb chapters are long anyway. If you've read a Robin Hobb, their chapters yeah. are long. One of the chapters in the book I just read was two and a half hours long on audio. Oh, <laughs> my two God. and a half yeah. hours. Yeah. I mean, it was good. But, uh, yeah, so we had to do the same thing like start <laughs> checking in quicker because it was getting a bit ridiculous. <laughs> Like, listen to six yeah. hours of the book before you spoke. <laughs> wow. But you said it was really well, good. And if you think, if you think it, about, yeah. like, a page of text is one minute, mm. that's 150 oh my gosh. pages? I mean, I'll be honest, the audio narrators for the book spoke very slowly. <laughs> right. Like, I had to, like, I can usually just do 1.2 time speed. But I had to do that at 1.5, like for Mike, because the yeah, it was just painful listening to them on one, one time speed. <laughs> so yeah, I, I definitely wasn't one minute a page for those guys. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a lot. 
Yeah, yeah. that's painful. Okay, so Stacy had 27 pages. That is awesome. Mom's got 33 pages in this book about plants. Such a great spring book. And since it's raining, I'm thinking April showers bring May flowers. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. It is raining today, which is a perfect day to do sprints. Uh, it's kind of rainy to here today, yeah. too. Is it? Here, too. Ah, yeah, I just watched. <laughs> <laughs> you just ruined everything. <laughs> Was it raining at eight o'clock this morning? No, that... it's been bright sunshine all day. Yeah, <laughs> bright sunshine. <laughs> I just washed my car, like went through the car wash this morning when I was doing errands, and then it started sprinkling as I got into my garage, and I was like. <sighs> Well, at least you can put your car in your garage, right? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. 25 pages in, they start with the prologue of Disney version, basically, and I fell in love immediately. Oh, okay, yeah, so you're reading the Beauty and the Beast one, and mm -hmm. so they start with the prologue of the Disney version. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so I guess they're maybe written a little, because I know that a lot of these, I know Elizabeth Lim wrote quite a few of these Twisted Tales, but I know that there are other authors for the Twisted Tales as well. It's not just Elizabeth okay. Lim, which I think is interesting it's like, that they use different authors. Yeah. Like Liz, Liz something is one of them. Oh, is one of the one. authors. I recognize that. Maybe. I where that comes from. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Liz, Liz, I don't know. Naomi 24% in, and it is better than I expected. Good. That sounds like the same thing Kim's having happen, which is good news, right? Mm -hmm. When you're stuck right, reading a book for a buddy or a book club. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nice, Martine. 64 pages. These champion readers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it was a YA, wasn't it, Martine? The, um, the one you got from... Dollar Tree. Okay, ladies. Hey, Jean. Thought it started at 2 p.m. my time, so I was late. That's okay. You're not late. You're here just right on time. Mm -hmm. uh, read 15 pages. Nice. Mm -hmm. Think I'm in a slump. I've been starting many books, but not getting anywhere. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could pick up something that would be more just fun and, you know, not so... Something more playful. This is a good... Yeah get out of a slope kind of book. This one I feel like is a really, like maybe these Disney twist tales are just so easy to read and they're just fun and kind of nostalgic because they, they give you vibes of the, the Disney movie. Something like yeah. that maybe or something. I would say like reread something or like do a middle grade where it's like short and there's a lot packed into a small package. Yeah, those are good slumpy books. Mm -hmm. Next page ratio on my book is pretty low, so I was able to read 40 pages. Typically on the slower end of reading rates. Yeah, I, I, I feel the same about this one. I'm going to be able to get through it more quickly because there's not a lot of words on each page. <laughs> <laughs> Can't recommend the story graph enough for buddy reads. Yeah, we were talking about that a bit last night. But it does really well with the communicating. I have used, I've done, I've done Zoom for buddy reads oh, quite a bit. And I like that just because we get that one-on-one -on -one face, that connection. I've also done, what is that one? Boxer, which was kind of fun. Yeah, Boxer is sure. the one that I've been doing. Yeah. yeah. You can record what you're saying about the book. And I like that because then I can go back and listen to mm -hmm. um, the different updates when I'm ready to listen to them. Yeah. What's really fun that I just realized could be done because somebody started doing this to me while we were buddy reading. Well, I was recording my thoughts. She was listening and she started responding in the comments because you can't like talk at the same time but you can type while the other person is talking so i said something and then she typed in a comment to me and i was like wow so that's kind of fun <laughs> <laughs> that's fun that's cute yeah <laughs> i like that too <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's bright and sunny where Jean bright is. Liz Braswell, I got it. Yeah, you were right. I got, a, I got Liz. That's all I had. Yeah, you did, that was good. <laughs> uh, Martinez is YA. Yeah, okay. Didn't read, went on Amazon. <laughs> <for bio. laughs> 
<laughs> Amazing. That seems like a good use of time. <laughs> oh no, that's dangerous. <laughs> Yeah, and I don't think they need to be written in any kind of order because they're all specific to each movie. So, mm -hmm. um, which, yeah. I so. wonder if Book Outlet would have them for Probably. like cheaper. Yeah. yeah. I'm interested Probably. to hear how you find the whole story because it is, does sound like, like something I would like. I do like mm -hmm. a twist on something. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Know really well. Yeah. A little bit of a retelling or a reimagining. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Like yeah. the Lunar Chronicles, I loved picking out the details of the yeah. original stories. It was super fun. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's starting out just like the movie. So that's what's so interesting is mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's almost like Elizabeth Lim could have been one of the screenwriters for the original movie. So mm -hmm. we'll see. I'm excited about it. And I've heard people say really good things about this one in particular. And the direction that it goes so we'll see and um uh yeah <laughs> keep drinking your coffee amy why <laughs> <sighs> oh, i just remembered i borrowed schindler's list from the library oh that's gotta be I, i've only seen the movie that is a tough Me tough too. Movie. i watched that in high school oh, did you I've never seen yeah. this actually. It's like, amazing. It's yeah, a really I need to get movie. to it. Yeah, but it's it really good. I remember like getting emotional. Oh yeah. Well, I oh, mean, yeah. I get emotional watching a lot of things, but I remember getting emotional. I remember watching it. I don't remember everything about it, but I remember watching it and getting emotional. And a lot of my classmates were too. Yeah, that's a really, really hard one. And in high school, yeah, I mean, it, it makes sense, especially covering that subject matter, but it's a tough one. Yeah. Yeah. According to someone, Goodreads, Farewell Summer Bradbury is tagged as YA and fantasy, so I'm counting it. Seems to be about the trans it. transition point of kid to teen. That's perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I... I know that I've read for yeah. Fahrenheit 451, but it was so long ago that I don't remember it. That I, I, I can't like say, oh yeah, I remember Fahrenheit 451. That's the only Bradbury I really I know. Do yeah. you? Yeah, I read it just like a couple years ago. So like I it? guess it's more fresh in my head. Yeah, I thought it was really good. I read, <clears throat> I read All Summer in a Day by Ray Bradbury with my students. It's just a short story. It takes place on Venus, and it's so fun. Ooh. It takes place on Venus? Yeah. <laughs> so, like, it's, like, underground of Venus, and then, like, it rains all the time, so they have to, like, be completely covered up when they go in the building and, you know, like, to not get any of the acid rain on themselves because <laughs> it's Venus. And... <laughs> <laughs> So they're like inside all the time, but then one day of every year, it's nice out. And so they come in, all these kids are coming in. They're like, they said it's going to be today. Oh, not every year, every seven years. They're like, it's, they said it's going to be today. And it's these young kids, though, they're like eight. So they don't remember the last time the sun actually came out. And so they are um, all excited because the sun is coming out and then they get to go out and they get to play for like the hour or whatever that the sun's going to be out. And there's one girl that came from earth with her family, like her family moved to Venus. And um, so she's seen the sun and she's really excited and talks about it. And they're like, that's not what it's like. And they like fight over what the sun is actually like, even though none of them that actually have lived there forever have remember what the sun is actually like, because they never get to see it. And, I mean, it's super short, but it's such a good short story. <laughs> That sounds yeah, I'm good. Interested. I'm interested yeah. in reading that. I've never read any Ray Bradbury actually, but yeah, it's intriguing. so like you should like just Google it and find a PDF of All Summer in a Day. It's so fast; you'll read right it in like there. ten minutes. And oh, is so there a flower on the cover? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Just draw a cover. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> there might be. It's in one of. There might be. It's in one of. His <laughs> Anthologies. Guys, I'm not finishing this today. Look at this. <laughs> That's so 
goodness. <laughs> yeah, that's rough. <laughs> that sounds good though. That sounds actually really good. Yeah. And I didn't know Ray Bradbury did so many like middle grade YA stuff. Mm. Mm -hmm. But now I know. I gotta go mm -hmm. do some more Ray Bradbury research. I've only owned one physical. This is the Twisted Tales, but the Audible sale got me. I've heard that the Audible sale was really good. Like of mm -hmm. the Twisted Tales, a lot of people bought them all then. Mm. Red, Fahr for, for, uh, Red Fahrenheit 451 in high school, I think. It's a popular high school book, isn't it? Especially because mm -hmm. the whole burp, burp, the book ban burning thing. Yeah. Elementary school. Really? Wow. Shaped my taste I in books? Imagine. Yeah, elementary school. That's young. I don't really know what it's about. It, I assume he's an American author, is he? It was. It had like a really um, like futuristic kind of feel, and yeah, yeah it was it's about book burning. It was really uh, it was about book burning. Mm -hmm. uh, there could be a there could be a flower on there. I'm just saying. <laughs> I think that's a flower. I think that's a flower. It looks like a flower to me. <laughs> Amy's got your back, especially after this Amy said no. I don't, I don't know if that's the actual cover or anything, but. <laughs> it's all right. I'll stick with my one. <laughs> yeah, he's from West Illinois. Ray Bradbury is an American novelist, short story writer, essayist, and playwright. Oh, screenwriter mm -hmm. and a poet. He's oh, that was playwright. a good man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does what a lot. My favorite Bradbury is The Martian Chronicles. Dang it, I need to get more into yeah. Ray Bradbury. It sounds like I would enjoy his works a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Use a stretchy book cover like I used in middle school. Or make one out of um, a garb, you know, like a, <laughs> the paper sacks. I remember doing that mm -hmm. so much in uh, middle school, making, turning yeah. the paper sacks inside out and making book covers for it. Did you ever do that? Yeah. That, was, that was our assignment on the first day of school. Oh, we had to cover oh. all of our. Okay, it sounds so. much more like environmentally friendly than ours. We had to, we were forced to sticky back plastic all our books. So mm. we were allowed to, we, that, so yeah, it was very boring. It was just plastic over the front of the books. Yeah. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> Nothing else. No. But you didn't like take it off then, did you? No, it's like stuck forever. Yeah. Right. That's okay. why they okay. made us do that. But, well, I guess to keep the books nice, but. And they couldn't be bothered to do it themselves, I guess. But that was that was our yeah. and if we didn't do it, we we're in a lot of trouble. I remember that. <laughs> Danielle, you had to have also done the first day of school covering your textbooks with the paper bag, right? I I vaguely remember something like that. That was our generation. <laughs> that was our generation. Yeah. <laughs> was that, is, that, is that your sticky back plastic? Is that what you're <clears throat> no. Um, well, I mean, it was the same concept, but we used, you know, like the brown sacks you get from the grocery store, the paper uh, sack, and you'd okay, have to turn yeah, it inside yeah. out and you create um, textbook covers. And that was like the first thing you did on, on the first day I of school. And it was like always, especially in middle school and stuff like that, you always had to create your your book cover for your textbooks to keep your textbooks safe. That was such a thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then, like, some teachers would turn it into, like, an actual, like, worthwhile activity where you needed to, like, like cover it with things that were, like, you so that they could learn about your personality and things like that. And some were super boring. Like, math teachers were just like, just put some stuff on it. Get it done. <laughs> yeah, I never had the, the ones that made and it then, interesting. <laughs> and then my mom would sit there and grumble with, like, gotta do this stupid thing again they just don't do it themselves <laughs> in fifth grade she made me start doing it myself <laughs> i think i always did it by myself <laughs> i also and like at my Mars first article. my first job we like actually like my first teaching job maybe they had parent volunteers come in and like put paper covers on all the textbooks like one year and then Maybe. and then like after that they just had mom volunteers like change the ones that needed to be changed but most of them needed to be changed because kids are really hard on books yeah that's but, true and yeah. that's why they made us do it but 
Yeah, it was annoying. And it was a, like every year, first day of class, cover your textbooks. Yeah. It's classics, of course. Yes, of course, I would love Ray Bradbury. <laughs> I, t I do like my classics. <laughs> that way you could draw on something for each prompt. Yes. See, that's, that's what point. you need to do. <laughs> my mom did the clear plastic for my soft cover books and then the stretchy ones for the hardback. Yeah. Okay. okay. I mm -hmm. I don't know that clear plastic. I I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't remember if this was required or mm -hmm. not, but in elementary school we used fabric covers. I barely remember using that's brown cool. paper. cool. Yeah, that's cool too. I like that. Yeah. We read 451 in grade seven, so don't be too concerned for inappropriateness. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. For grade eight, we read a Canadian classic, The Stone Angel by Margaret Lawrence. Mm -hmm. 80 year old woman sitting on bench, reliving her life. So over the heads of. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. And that's one thing we learn in my literature class is like, if it's nostalgic for adults or about adults, don't expect your kids to be interested in it. <laughs> like, it's got to have relevance to them. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so true. I mean, that sounds like I would I would love it, but my kids wouldn't want to read that in a million no. years. All they want to read is the dystopian novels, isn't that true, Amy? <laughs> the what? <laughs> they only want to read dystopians. Yeah. My eighth <laughs> graders, yeah. That's all they want to read. <laughs> That's amazing. I yeah, I don't know why that is. Something about that, I had like, one. Well, I had one start a coup, and she started getting really into YA contemporary, and oh, oh, her friend rebel. is not happy with her. But <laughs> they're working it out. It's fine. <laughs> we can remain friends. We can remain friends. Okay, let's do our next sprint. You guys good with another yeah. thirty minutes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me reset it. You re oh, let me. Oops, I forgot to. Share it on my screen. Hold on one second. Share. Allow. Oh, wow. Hey, hey. Okay. Let's get to reading. Good luck, everybody. Woohoo! Oops.
Hello. Who had it go, everybody? Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I read fourteen pages that time. <clears throat> Nice. But I had some brunch. I read another 17 and we met the love interest. And I, I, I remembered kind of the synopsis, synopsis now, or at least part of it. Um, I think Kiva, she, like the prison healer, she is like, I think one of the important people gets sick like with the plague or something and like she's the only one that can save them not a hundred percent sure but i think so that's like exciting but also kind of tough mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> that it, that's pretty, intense i guess it makes yeah. sense with their title of the book yeah <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. sounds intense though I only read 12 pages, but uh, my partner's looking after his niece for the first time and he's on his own. <laughs> so, <laughs> messaging me like, she's fallen asleep, but she needs her dinner. What do I do? <laughs> That's adorable. I don't know. How old is she? <laughs> she's nearly two. Yeah. Any advice, anyone? <laughs> Let her sleep. Yeah, I'll say let her sleep. Let her sleep? Without yeah. her dinner. Well, she'll have yeah, her no. Okay. But it's yeah. like, what time is it there? It's like 10 to 7. Oh, yeah, let her sleep. I don't know. Well, maybe she wants to sleep. Does he have her all night? Oh, that's good. The question. evening, yeah. Not all night, no. No. Oh, yeah, let her sleep. <laughs> I'd say like, uh, yeah, yeah. let her see. If he wakes oh, up no. at 3 a.m., I am well, hungry. That's the parent's problem at but that point. I think, like, the parent, the, his, the parents are going to come home, and she'll probably wake up then and want to sleep anyway, and then she'll fall asleep on the way home again and be asleep. I know she's at home. So I would say. She's at home. And then oh, wake she's up at home. Yeah. Oh, it's, he'll be all right. He'll figure it out. It's a learning yeah. experience. Yeah. That's a good thing. I'm just saying, if you wake her up before she's ready to wake up, mm -hmm. that yeah, might see, not be pretty. I yeah. gave him the opposite you, advice to that because I was like, maybe if he wakes her up, then she'll eat and then go to sleep. But that's probably very optimistic. <laughs> yeah, because she might not want to miserable eat. <laughs> and if she's two, if she's two, if you wake her up before she's ready, she'll probably be pretty grouchy. Yeah, I'm, and I'm so, picturing my niece like I'm, I would let that yeah. lady sleep. Yeah. Yeah. I rem when my goddaughter was three, I had her for the day and we just like were doing all kinds of stuff. And then we were going to go to this amusement park and she fell asleep on the way to the amusement park, which like it wasn't like out of the way or anything, but she fell asleep because we just had done so much stuff and she was so excited and it was just a full day. And I could like I couldn't get her to wake up like she was fine, but she was like out. And mm -hmm. so I like brought her home and I was like, she's sleeping. <laughs> and so like, we didn't go, we didn't go to the amusement park because she, oh, she that's the summer. Yeah. yeah really we it. went a different time. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to give him your guys' advice because mine probably was bad. I don't know anything about children. <laughs> I was just thinking yeah. too two years old that would be you're gonna then he's gonna have to deal with her being cranky all evening yeah true yeah i don't know that's hard i'm sure people will have comments yeah. <laughs> for margaret lawrence i would recommend the diviners to the to, to the amy's i think it would be up our alley alleys 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 mm -hmm. that my <laughs> my student i said something about something peeing up somebody's alley once and my students were like what on earth does that mean and i was like well that you would like it and they were like where does that oh, even come God. from and i was like i have no idea <laughs> I imagine, like where you live up your alley like it's where you're comfortable with where you're from oh, so yeah that would make sense <laughs> although it's always fun to hear uh 
uh, my my uh, who I follow that are all Brits that say up your street, up your street. Do you say yeah. up your street or up your alley, Kim? Uh, I feel like I know both, but yeah, maybe it's up your street. Ah, it's up your street. I feel like you. I feel yeah. like you say up my street. Yeah, it's up your street. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not that I've seen every single one of your videos, Kim, but I feel like I've heard <laughs> you say up your street. Yeah, I probably heard you say up your street too. It, I, I hear both, so I was just. <clears throat> our wimpy kid dork diaries. My students love those. Yeah, those are popular for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Shelf finished Heartstopper. Nice. How'd you like it, Shell? I know that the first two were good, but not your favorites. So how did you like the third one? Uh, 59 pages, about half an hour left in this book. Amazing, Martine. That is incredible. Mm -hmm. Nice. Read a bit of the natural history of dragons. I'm halfway through it. Oh, I'm really curious about that one, but I haven't heard anybody talk about it in like a year. How are you liking it, Janet? 34 minutes into Schindler's List and done a little of my puzzle. Congratulations. Oh, nice. That's fun. That's the nice thing about audiobooks. You can do things like that, puzzles or um, other kind of art stuff. stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, it didn't occur to me that it was a book. I just assumed it was the film. <laughs> but we're all here for books, so of course it's a book. <laughs> I don't know who writes the book. Uh, I don't either. Yeah. Really is a fast read. The magic is fun. A poison. The poison part. I'm excited about that one. Read a few chapters, but only came in with 15 minutes left. That's all right, Betty. We're going to have an, another sprint after this one. At least mm -hmm. one. Maybe more. Or more. We'll see. It depends on you guys. Um, we actually made it to chapter 10 this time. Yes. Awesome. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> read half of a graphic novel called Cinderella's Sister. Ooh, that sounds fun. Just got some breakfast and got ready for the day. Awesome. Had some lunch, read 12 pages. Sounds like me, Sandy. Switched to audiobook of an unwanted guest by Sherry Lafina and Clean Kitchen 2. I have heard that Sherry Lafina is one of those thriller authors that, like, is pretty easy to get into if you're not as into thriller authors. Have you, anybody read Sherry Lafina? I've, I've heard that as well. I can't i haven't read her but i've heard that yeah like she's a good starter thriller author if you're not used to reading those mm -hmm. so hope you're enjoying it stacy 23 pages plus 11 count flips back and forth between storylines maurice and rosalind then bell nice yeah i'm living i'm really enjoying reflection too although i didn't read i haven't got that far yet so waking up two-year-old is a bad <laughs> idea <laughs> dang it I thought I blocked this person. Blocked you did. They just well probably used a different Can Yeah. Still anything lower. Okay, no, I think that's it. Sixteen pages of the Rose and the Dagger. Nice. That's great. When you really think about idioms, they get kind of weird. Mm-hmm. We were talking about yeah. up your alley. Yeah. Yeah. I like to look them up though, and look up, you know, try and follow the history, you know, the history of them, because I yeah. sometimes it's really fascinating. Yeah, like raining cats and dogs. I remember hearing that had a really weird like origin. Do you remember what it was? I don't remember what it was. Something about like I don't know, but I remember it had a really weird weird origin. Yeah. I love that. I think that's, I think those are so cool. Hey, Carly, I'm going to be starting Danish girl by, Ooh, okay. Is that the, nope. Thinking of a different one. <laughs> by, Ooh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm probably thinking of a different one. Let me see. What is the Danish girl about? Anybody know? Oh, is that that film that Eddie Redmayne was in? Is he? Oh, I like Eddie Redmayne. No, yeah. I have no. I was I thinking of The Dutch House by Anne I, I was just going to say that, but I wasn't 100% sure if that's what you were thinking. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Because <clears throat> I heard that that one is narrated by Tom Hanks, and that's a really good audiobook. 
somebody from one of the sprints told me that. Just submitted my first assignment. Yes, good. Yay. Time to read, Natalie. I think I gave the first two to four stars. Really good. Oh, the first two four stars. Just wanted more from the format. Doesn't lend to that. That's a hot heart stopper. Didn't hate them. No, I know you didn't hate them. I just I gave this one five stars. Addresses some more serious stuff. Okay. I, I know you didn't hate it. I remember you saying that you just wanted a little more from it and that they were very. Um, I know that the subject matter was pretty light for the first couple of Heartstopper books. Uh, A Natural History of Dragons is cute and fun so far and easy read. I like the cover on that one. So what did you say? I said I love dragons. <laughs> yeah. It's always fun. Okay, I'm ready to start reading again. 73% of the way through Arushan. Shaw. How are you liking it? You were liking it last night. Did you read that? Amy? Yes. I love the part where <laughs> where it makes fun of Trump. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like one sentence, but it's hilarious. Arusha, it's like fantasy. Arusha and the and the and the end of time. It doesn't mention Trump, but it says, How was I supposed to know that they would elect somebody with orange skin and bald hair or oh, something? You know, some something where it's like oh that's a definite reference to trump uh -huh. hilarious. she must have written it <laughs> around that time <laughs> oh i recommend it i recommend someone we know by sherry lapina okay so that so sherry lapina good one to try out is someone we know raining cats and dogs comes from filthy streets where where heavy rain could carry dead animals down the street Oh, especially during the time when they didn't have, um, you know, street clean. Yeah. Any oh my goodness, Amy, <laughs> you are getting like inundated. So spammed. Oh no. Dang it. Hey, well, That's how you there. know. Get out of here. Get out of here. That's how you know you've made it. I have it's made it. <laughs> <laughs> anybody interested in adult sites there's quite a few i keep blocking them so i'm sorry for anybody who was hoping they could click on those but uh hopefully I... <laughs> sorry guys if i'm ruining all the fun <laughs> Just make sure you don't you know black anybody who you actually like <laughs> Sorry, I'm so sorry. It just, it just, yeah, no, that would be, be the worst. I was watching sprints the other day that did that. If Accidentally you remember, oh. they didn't mean to. Yeah. How did you get yeah. So okay, they figured it out. <laughs> if like you go into the live, it's a setting, and it'll say who you've blocked, and you can unblock them. Like there's some setting okay. that you can go into. They Googled it like oh. right there and got her out of jail, and it was really funny. She came back, and they were like joking about her being a hardened horrible. criminal. It was so fun. <laughs> a hardened <laughs> criminal. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They're like, wow, oh. prison has changed you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It was a well, lot of fun. It's exciting to know that I am. I am but there I'm is a way to fix it. So okay, good. That's good to know. It was the one with Eddie Ray, uh, Redmayne. Yeah, yeah, in the movie. Okay, good. Um, yeah, that's not the one I was thinking of. That's not the one that Danielle and I were thinking of. <laughs> hey, Alicia, how's it going? Are you ready to do some sprinting today? Kim is right. It's a book based on the movie with Eddie. Yeah. Yes, it was covered by for sure. Is that, I, those are, do you guys do a lot of cover buys? Um, yeah, I have been, I did one the other day actually. <laughs> cover buy. I cover buy when, like when I'm at like thrift stores or whatever, I'll come, I'll cover buy. I won't cover buy a full price, but I'll cover buy. A couple will, will catch my attention, but then I will have to like actually know what the book is supposed to be about before I will actually spend money on mm -hmm. it because if it has a beautiful cover but it's not anything I would care about then that <laughs> this doesn't make any sense yeah 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 that's, yeah. that's uh why I got Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse though was a cover by totally a cover by still haven't read it yet but man that cover <laughs> <laughs> <Love to look. laughs> 
<laughs> so compelling. <laughs> uh, Carly loved Heartstopper. We have not. None of us have watched the TV mm-hmm. show yet. Yet. Mm-hmm. Amy's mom, mom has. Yes, mom <laughs> has. And she loved it. She's already watched it twice. No. <laughs> I can't say long right now, but for prompt two, I chose The Sleeper and the Spindle by Neil Gaiman. Ooh. Short wine fantasy found at the library today. Perfect. That sounds good. Oh. Yeah. Neil Gaiman. And that's a fun one. I, I've only read one thing by Neil Gaiman, though. I'm planning on getting into some more of it. Uh, yes, it's so good. Oh, okay. Heart Shopper. Still good. It's also still just a generic middle grade fantasy chosen trope one. Chosen one trope. Mm-hmm. Arusha. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, which is pretty is. typical for fantasy, middle grade fantasies. Especially mm-hmm. the chosen one thing. That's a middle grade. Like, so many middle grades are chosen one. Yeah. You know the boss. I mean, know. Keeper is. Although she wasn't really so much chosen as, like, made. But, what you know, like, it's a chosen one trope for sure. Yeah, those bots. I didn't let them stick around for long, though, darn it. <laughs> yeah. Kim was right. <laughs> I hardly ever right, so I like all this. <laughs> what were you right about? I already forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it happens so often, you can't, you can't tell anymore. Thank you. Thank Everything. you. Amy. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, a title. Now that's not, I don't think I've ever picked a book based on the title. Have you? Anybody? Maybe Maybe, like what? I I think a title has definitely caught my eye. And... I, yes. I'm more apt to buy it if I think the title sounds cool. Yeah. Example? But if I'm looking for like buzzword prompts and stuff like that, mm. I've like, I've p- chosen to read a book based on just that, but I didn't buy it, but I've read it just because it has Absolutely. a title. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Definitely. Um, you know, the only titles that I think that m- make me really like think and want to pick up those books are the cozy mystery titles because they're so creative and unique and they're so silly and fun. Those yeah. are the ones that kind of catch me. It's the cozy mystery ones, mm-hmm. but I've never bought one based on that. Um, I, I don't think I've ever read a cozy mystery. I should try mm-hmm. one of them. Like, everyone loves them. I've never done it. Sorry. They're so sorry, fun. Don't. I've read a couple and I haven't been able to, like, I haven't enjoyed them. So Um, I don't know if it's just, I've yet to find, like, the author that is right for me. mm -hmm. But, yeah, so far I just struggle with them so bad. Yeah. I mean, because they're not, they're slow paced. They're not like, typically, they're not like thrillers where, you know, it's a mystery and you're just like going from the, you know, it's, it's more about the setting, the people. They're very character driven usually. And mm-hmm. and setting driven, and it's more about the the mystery then. Mm-hmm. But maybe it's yeah. the authors. Maybe. What were you gonna say, Amy? It's there. There are a lot of. Um, I mean, it's kind of, they can be really cookie cutter in a way where it's there's you know, the introduction with the characters and then there's a murder and then there's always a cop that has to tell them to get out of it. And a really good segue, I think, into the cozy, cozy mystery is Thursday Murder Club. I want to read that one so bad. Yeah. I love Richard Osman. The definition of cozy mystery because it's not police officers that solve it. But it sounds know. so good. But it's very yeah. literary. Like it's a literary cozy mystery. Maybe try that one, Daniel. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would try that. Yeah, it sounds so and, like, cute. Finley Finley Donovan is killing it. Would technically, it would be like literary cozy because it's not solved by a. 
a, a police officer or something like that. By a police officer. <laughs> but it's very... Yeah. I don't know. I love ridiculous cozy mysteries because then I'm just like transported into this crazy situation that I know isn't real because it's so ridiculous and it just, it feels okay. (laughs) I don't need to be scared about this actually happening. (laughs) It's not realistic. Yeah. Yeah. But like comforting kind of thing. I was going to say, yeah. do you guys know Richard Osman as Richard Osman? Or do you know him just as an author? Okay. I looked him up after I read the book. I looked him up and I was like, yeah. oh my gosh, this guy's cool. Yeah. He, yeah. He so, does his own quiz book here. He's amazing. Yeah. 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 He's I've heard he's really good, you know, and he's really popular, but I, I haven't actually seen anything, like seen any of his, because mm. um, he's a TV show guy, right? Yeah, I mean, he just does like little, yeah, you know, like afternoon TV quizzes. Yeah, but they're, they're good. They're good. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Naomi Cover Investigates draws me in and makes me look into it. Yeah, I, I see that. Like, you see the cover, you're like, oh, that's cute, but I want to see what it's about. Like, same with Danielle, like that you want to know what it's about in order to pick it up. I've got Black Sun 2 and haven't read it. We can buddy read it next year. <laughs> yes, next year. <laughs> <laughs> next year sounds good. <laughs> I guess it's just that I picked it up because of the cover, but then it looked interesting, so I bought it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Blackson was a great book. Yes, I can't wait to read it. It was so covered by Fernley as well. Yep. It's <laughs> such a good cover. That was amazing. Uh, marketing. I went to the Barnes Nobles yesterday and full price books for adults are so expensive. Thrifting mm-hmm. is my jam. Yeah, they really are yeah. expensive. Picked up books for the title. Oh, you have? Okay. What kind? Mm-hmm. Examples, everybody. Examples. <laughs> I don't help with the intrigue. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Definitely not bought a book because the title didn't sound appealing. Oh, you've not bought a book because the title didn't sound uh, appealing. That's mm-hmm. interesting. That makes sense. Yeah. I thought The Art of Racing there was a great title, but I really hated the book. It was not. Oh, my no. Book. Did you like it? Amy? I haven't read it. I wanted to read it. <laughs> not as much after hearing that. But. Yes, House of Games is awesome. I love that show. <laughs> House it is okay. Didn't realize the author Richard o- Richard Osman was Richard Osman. I have to read his books now. Ah, yeah. We're learning new things today. Mm-hmm. All right, we ready for another sprint? Yeah. Yay. Still thirty minutes. Does that feel good, to everybody? Mm-hmm. All right. Happy for that. Hoping I can get a little more reading done this time. <laughs> Wait. I keep forgetting to put it on screen share. All right. Happy reading, everybody. Happy reading. Happy reading.
Hello. Hello. Sorry about that. My um, my computer had crashed, and I had the timer on silent the first time around, but when I had to reset it, I forgot to put it on silent. So I hope I didn't scare anybody. <laughs> I looked at it at one point and it looked like it was frozen. And I was like, how long has it been like that? But it, I have to hover my mouse over the, it's really weird. I have a lot of issues with, <laughs> with StreamYard for some reason, but I use it on Mozilla and I probably should be using it on Chrome, but I don't mm -hmm. use Chrome often. So, or I just use it for work stuff. So like it's, it's my fault that it doesn't work, right. you know, hi. Hello. <laughs> mm. Sorry. <laughs> we had some more bot issues. Oh. I see. Yeah, this was cute though. They were listening because it kept saying best adult dating site. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just yeah. don't understand why it's so hard to get rid of those bots, but it's like so difficult to get somebody back if you accidentally mm -hmm. <laughs> to delete, delete them. them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Yeah. There's a series on my radar because of the titles, The Babbling Brook Naked Poker Club. <laughs> somebody <laughs> was talking about that summer and it just so good. Yeah, that sounds amazing. And I love okay, poker, it, so. I don't know anything about it, but that sounds really good just by the title. I. <laughs> Sounds like strip poker. It does. It does. Mm -hmm. Naked poker. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Martine finished yeah. her book four stars. Hey. Ooh, that's one Yay. Of the, uh, Dollar Tree ones. It's good when you find a good one from the Dollar Tree. Yeah. 81% um, done for Amanda. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Hello. Just joined in this round and read a chapter of We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson. Ooh. I've started that a couple of times and I haven't stopped because I didn't like it. I just got distracted by other things, but Shirley Jackson is another one that I read a lot of short stories with my students of, cause I read the lottery and Charles with different class grade levels. Yeah. She's I remember like, reading the lottery in middle school. Yeah. She's like, oops, sorry. Oh, oh man. Man more of our buddies yeah nice. i'm on page 616. nice and something just happened and i was like i have to update i have to update but i have 30 seconds left and so oh no oh, so that's why i'm okay. that's why i muted myself <laughs> <laughs> i got 20 pages in that time oh that's good yeah, it's definitely a quick read, you know, as far as like the writing styles, very easy to get through. Mm -hmm. So for someone like me who gets distracted very easily, that was that was pretty good progress for that round. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. I didn't read very much. I read like, I think only about 10 pages. I'm getting really tired and I'm having to look up a lot of words mm. or oh, like really? items and stuff. I'm like, wait, what is that? <laughs> yeah. So it's nice. slowing me down a little bit. Mm. Is it historical? No, it's contemporary, but it's um, it's about, uh, I guess, I don't know if it's literary fiction or what, but I just don't know very many words, Amy. <laughs> That's the problem. But it's, it's following um, an Indian family in London, kind of oh, um, okay. meeting Some the family of, of their daughter. Yeah, so it's a lot about their culture and stuff. But So I'm just yeah. looking things up about Did historical events and stuff, but I'm like, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. So it like makes you jump into rabbit holes. Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. Which is great, but it's not That's great for yeah. speed. <laughs> yeah, not when you want to read it fast. Yeah. Did we just like like jump out for everybody, or was it just my computer that got rid oh, of everybody? It, uh, I, um, just now or earlier? Yeah. Because my computer just crashed. Now. Oh, just now, no. no. It didn't work now. Um, I don't know. All of a sudden, everybody was just a circle, and I was like, but then we were back and I was like, okay. Um, how was the prison healer? It was good. I, I ate some lunch, so I only um, 
got like five or six more pages done, but I'm still liking it. Oh, good. Nice. Yeah, that one, that one sounds good. I definitely mm -hmm. gotta check that one out. And there's, and there's maps. I, look, there's maps in yeah. the beginning, which you know I love. This is the, the prison. Ooh. And then there's one of the actual, uh, the kingdoms of Winderall. Ooh. This, is, this was, you know, I got, this was fairy loot. Look at this. Look. Oh, oh yeah. Is that? And then, oh, like, that's the whole, gorgeous. Like, mm -hmm. the whole, um, I love those. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Aww. That's gorgeous. Oh, that is so pretty. Love, there's flowers. I mean, that cover is gorgeous it. without <laughs> it. Don't rub it in, Danielle. I'm rubbing it in. <laughs> I really like it. Oh, and did I show you this part? Look. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh. That's, that's nice. I like that. It's, it's, it's like a door. It's a key. It's a key thing in the door, huh? Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, that's so like cool. Like you're locked in a prison. <laughs> uh, yeah. I got my I got my very first sprayed edges book for free last weekend at this reader event that I went to and I was so sick and excited because I was like I this has sprayed edges on What is it? Uh oh I don't even know what it is. I haven't I like just have it all because I want to do like a swag haul from it because I got just a ton uh, of nice. stuff. Okay. And it's I'll so wait, I have I'll it, wait. Yeah, like, so now I can't remember what it is, but I was kind of like peeking through and I was like, oh my gosh, there's great edges. And like, everybody at my table was just like, yeah, they do that sometimes. And I was like, I know, but I've never had one in my possession. <laughs> oh, that is off to what Waffle Bar table. Brunch. That sounds amazing. That sounds delightful. I'm sure it's at my friend Jan's house because she's an amazing cook. <laughs> mm. oh. I love waffles. Yeah, oh, waffles love are waffles. so good. I'm pretty, mm -hmm. I'm up for any kind of like food bar. I just think that's fun mm -hmm. <laughs> when you have build your all own. kinds of options and build your Egg own. potato bar. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Taco bar. Ice cream any bar. Ooh, nacho uh -huh. bar. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, Margarita nacho, bar. Nacho. Bloody Mary <laughs> bar. Oh, so guys, it's so hot. Oh, yeah, 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 Bloody Mary bar. <laughs> <laughs> Mimosa bar. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. So when we do our retreat and uh, our, our uh, you know, our booktube retreat, wherever we end up going, we'll make sure we have every meal as some kind of bar. <laughs> some kind of bar. <laughs> I think it's supposed oh. to be Ireland is where we're going. So you guys just prepare for Ireland <laughs> and all the food bars we have. <laughs> Let's see. I only have 10 pages left. The illustrations in the sleeper and the spindle are so pretty. Oh, I like uh, that. I love a, a book with illustrations. Mm-hmm. Ooh, We've Always Lived in the Castle was a really interesting book. Oh, yeah, that was Shell Hates Classics. That was one she actually liked. <laughs> <laughs> That's promising. Yeah. <laughs> so Shelly Jackson. Good for people who don't like classics. 50% and 150 pages in now. I'm really enjoying the social commentary that is intertwined with the mystery. Mm. I do mm. like that. I do enjoy a good social commentary. Um, Which one was Naomi reading? I don't remember what it was called. It was a, a mystery that she wasn't excited about. Oh, that's right. Okay. I remember. Kept drifting. Might be getting a bit more interesting now. A deal with the Elf King. Yeah, Natalie was saying that she started it like in November and didn't really care for it that much and was going to give it a try. And this during until the next prompt switch. And then if it doesn't get any better, she's not going to continue reading it. Second <laughs> nice. Finished today's chapters of the Return of the King and got eleven minutes into today's chapters of Aliens Bug Hunt. What is that? Like from the horror aliens or it sounds more like a kid's book and it sounds fun i'm not gonna lie <laughs> bug hunts come on reminds reminds me of what was that movie storm ship troopers did you ever watch that anybody ever watch that no. it's like this campy sci-fi movie where the aliens are bugs like giant giant bugs you guys never read, watched or no. not read watched stormtroopers Troopers. it's good mm -hmm. it's a good bad one you know what i mean <laughs> yeah <laughs> 40 pages done 150 to go natural history of dragons awesome 
40 pages again, getting weird. Getting weird. Oh, it's getting weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boss, they do I love do you. love you. Something about welcome to a thousand subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> Have some bots. You need some Have more some bots. bots. <laughs> <Not> probably. <laughs> now yeah, I've definitely made it. Uh, I've made enough progress on homework for the day, so I'm actually going to read now. Yes, please. Yay! Please. No more Yay. homework. Seventy <clears throat> percent of Seraphine and the Twisted Staff should be at forty-nine books completed for the month by the end of the day. Oh wow! What? Wait, wait. Yes. What? Oh yeah, that's, no, that's awesome. Show. That's almost my goal for the year. Yeah, me too. Oh, crap. Well, Shell has a really long work commute, drive to work, and then she, while she's at work, she can listen to audiobooks while she's working as well. So, oh, that's she really great. Opportunities, especially with mm. audiobooks. I used to have a job like that. I ironed, and so I just stick an audio book on, and I was ironing away. It was great. I loved it. <laughs> yeah, that is. Yeah, that's it. It is audiobooks are great for like cooking dinner, doing yeah. things like that. Although, yeah. I, I often catch up on BookTube then though too. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's true. It's, yeah. it's good to have pages. options. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Fifteen more pages for Sandy. I have 50 pages left of an Alex Cross, James Patterson book, and I'm kind of growing tired of Will Cross Catch Him. Will Cross Catch Him? Oh, okay. I see. Two to three pages. Chapters are like stop and go traffic. Oh. oh. Wow. That's James Patterson. Hmm. Like, I don't know. That's what I feel like James Patterson is. Like, because his chapters are... He has like page long chapters. Like I'm all for short chapters, but they're like, this break makes no sense. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I like short I don't chapters. I hate James if they Patterson, make sense. but like, mm -hmm. yeah. Can, Not your they can be kind of like, you know, you take a knife, like he like writes it and then he like takes a knife and you just like, chops it up and then he's like here you go and he's james oh, so patterson so they're like sounds good <laughs> is it like mid-scene <laughs> yeah that's weird it feels that way yeah yeah i'm gonna log off and take a bit of a break since i'm caught up on my prompts thanks for the sprints thanks martine nice. have fun great job reading i'm about halfway in and very interested to see what's going on not a fan of because i'm Charles, but also very dubious about. Oh, that's with the the Shirley Jackson book. Mm. That book is gorgeous. Yes, Danielle, that book. Yeah, yeah it is very gorgeous. <laughs> Just bought the sequel, The Prison Healer. I really liked the first book. I didn't know it was a series. Yeah, yeah I didn't either. The book is beautiful. <laughs> didn't read it the last sprint. Was having a buddy read chat. That's fun. Those ice are important. Cream ice cream bar. Mm -hmm. It's a good one too. I don't like ice cream. You don't? No, I know that's rare, but yeah. That's okay. I think it, it's just too cold, I think. Me and my brother used to like stir it up so it got warm and then we liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Okay, I see your message. Oh, awesome. That is so exciting. Um, I hate classics as well. I, I love classics, but yeah, it's, not, it's they're not for everyone. <laughs> but there are so many different types of classics because of the different genres, you know. Their classics mm -hmm. just, you know, means that they were ahead of their time when they were written. But there's all different types of classics. Um, mm. Yeah. Charles is the worst. I picked it up because I have a prompt for Unreliable Narrator, and it had an interesting cover. Didn't end up reading Play Disney Emoji Blitz. Ooh, that sounds fun. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what that is. Mm -hmm. For the Love of Mike by Reese Bowen, and it is set in the early 1910s in New York. Ames, that movie was the absolute worst. Star Starship Troopers was Star Stormtroopers. Starship Troopers. Starship Troopers was not the absolute worst. It was terrible, but in a fun way. <laughs> like campy, you know, like. 
<laughs> and mom loves stormtroopers, which was from Star Wars. So. <laughs> well, I love. I like the movie Super Troopers. It was terrible in a fun way. What you guys were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Definitely different, though. Uh, that works. 49 books? Wow, I thought I was doing good with 20. Yeah. My yearly goal is 300. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that mom and Magda and her are all competing for who can read the most. Oh, it feels really? like <laughs> No, it feels like <laughs> <laughs> I want to know, know the stats at the end of the year. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yes, it's part of the Alien franchise. Okay, Alien's Bug Hunt is an anthology of short stories by multiple authors set in the alien world. That sounds fun. Oh. Listen to all the movie novelizations before getting to this one. That actually sounds interesting. Like a lot of fun. The author of Poison Heart has another book called Cinderella is Dead. Yes, that that was. Um, oh, <clears throat> which cover, that cover looks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've heard very mixed things about Cinderella's Dead. I've heard some people really loved it and some people really didn't like it at all. So I don't know. Yeah, I, I have also heard mixed, mixed things. And I'm very certain I'm talking about the same book this time, so. <laughs> it's about the Cinderella and they have to. I don't, anyways, I don't, I don't want to give a synopsis and then be wrong. So it looks at <laughs> the immigration and factory workers using a female detective. It is very character-driven nice. series as opposed to plot. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad I, you're enjoying it. I though. feel like I would like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Shaw just bought I Loved a Minotaur today. <laughs> One of the prompts will ask me to read it this weekend. Yeah, they're all reading the I Loved I Married a Lizard Man. I married a those kind of smutty books. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the 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 monster smut. I agree with Kim. 49 books is like my yearly goal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I gave that one five. Oh, she gave the Minotaur one five stars. Um, what's a what's naga? That? A snake. Like a snake. Oh, that would make water, sense. A water like, snake um, like thing. And they go like this. Like okay. they kind of upright. And they have like a tail. And they go. <laughs> Really that makes sense because, like, the snakes in Ricky Ticky Tavi are named Nagaina and Nag 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 Nag. I think they pronounce it Nag, but that would make sense that it would have like that that word yeah. root in it. Yeah, I think I think there's so well at least okay. The ones in World of Warcraft are aquatic, so they're like always near the water, but they're like mm -hmm. snaky sort of things. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking. They observed a pizza delivery and mentioned how cold it was. The next chapter was an explosion. Then packed the cops waiting in the cold. We snails will get there together. <laughs> oh, it's a... <laughs> I thought that was a person going like this. <laughs> oh. No, it's a snail. <laughs> snail. <laughs> I was like, what is she raising her hand for? <laughs> over and over and over again. Yeah. Uh, and the audio book I'm listening to in the car is a middle grade from the 39 Clues series. Mm -hmm. There are 14 chapter characters that have been important, and I'm 50% of the way through that one. Yeah, that, that's a lot of characters. That's a lot. That would mm -hmm. be a lot to... Uh, when I finish Aru Shaw, I'll be... It'll be 30 books for me this month. I just finished Fire of Heaven, Wheel of Time. Yeah, that's a big one, too. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's impressive. I really want to read that series. I'm so tempted. Don't Wheel of Time. I'm finishing Cobb first. Yeah. <laughs> I'm finishing Cobb, and then I'm getting to Brandon Sanderson. Yeah. And then maybe Wheel of Time. Yeah. That's because that, that's, 80. <laughs> those ones, yeah, I know. Uh... What did you think of book five of Wheel of Time? Yeah. Shell's read all those series so far, too. Unsurprisingly. Um. <laughs> um, I was thinking I might shoot because I need to make some dinner. But I can stay on, but I'll just be like in the chat. But I'll just take take you to where I'm cooking. That's it. Okay. That's I'm going to have to, I'm going to say goodbye to everybody, too, because my I told in the private chat my son has got his senior prom tonight and so i have to go and hopefully get some pictures of him looking all 
That's so exciting. And some and dapper. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here. Oh my god! I hope you guys. Thank fun. you for having me on. That's oh, so thank exciting. Thank you for joining us. This was amazing, and I hope he has an amazing. Um, I hope he has such a good time. And don't mm -hmm. cry too much. Oh yeah. <laughs> This is like a rough couple months for me right now. Yeah. <laughs> is this like the main, main one before you go to uni? Yeah. yeah. Before you graduate high school and then, yeah, mm. it's almost, yeah. almost done. A whole lot of laughs coming at you. Yeah, for sure. Aww, well, you can fun. do it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Amy, thank you so much for having me on as well. And I'll chat to you in the comments. Oh, absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This was so wonderful. Yeah, it's good. It's good. All right. I'll see you later. Have All right. See you later. Bye. Thank you. And then there were two. <laughs> and then there were the Amy's. And then there were the Amy's. <laughs> Let's see. We'll get started here in a second. Slow, slow, slow. All the, All the things at the end. <laughs> Yep. Hope he has fun at prom. My son is moving out tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Aunt Amanda's going through the same thing, so she knows the pain. Mm -hmm. The middle ones were probably the hardest. I actually got much more into them when Sanderson took over. Unpopular opinion, but there it is. Yeah, shall love when Sanderson mm -hmm. took over. How long are you sprinting for today? I don't know. It depends on how long Amy wants to go. I probably can't go longer than a couple more hours because I have to do my Sunday sum up. So I've got some editing <laughs> to do today. <laughs> when is your next prompt drop? 7 p.m. Well, my time. So 10, 8, 9, 9 Five. Your time. Five. Five. No. Are you, nah. You're behind. Yeah, you're ahead of me. Nine. Nine. Yeah. You're right. Nine. Nine. You're right. I don't know. <laughs> I have a lot of reading that I want to do today, so I'm like fine. So <laughs> I want to keep yeah. reading. <laughs> I'm yeah, good. so probably probably about at the most two more hours because then I definitely need to start working on video editing. But and my computer's right. getting tired, so I need to let it sleep for a bit because it it's been acting up a little bit. Um, is mine still really loud? No, no, it doesn't okay. sound as bad. I think I moved it. I can still hear it, but when I moved it, it wasn't as like echoey to me. So mm -hmm. I was hoping that was better. <laughs> so you actually looking forward to Brandon Sanderson taking over. Yep. And that's good news that we're still going to go for a little bit longer. When did Brandon Sanderson take over? Like the last three books or something like that? I I think it was towards, it was definitely towards the end, but I don't know how many he actually wrote for. Okay, so up. I know nothing. When, why did he take over? Didn't the other guy die? Or... <laughs> the author died or something? Am I wrong? <sighs> 17 out of 52, that's great. Six in April, awesome. Yeah, Robert Jordan oh. died. That's his name, Robert Jordan. <laughs> so Sanderson took over to, to help him out. <sighs> and apparently the books get really good at that point. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. Voldemort's yep. name was Nagini too. Yeah, definitely. So it makes sense that that nag root would mm -hmm. be like... Yeah, has something to do with snakes then. Yeah. Jordan's wife picks Anderson. Oh, that's oh, cool. That's interesting. So then at least you know it's kind of like supported by the, the legacy of. Yeah, absolutely. See, I... And <laughs> knew and appreciated his work and knew that, yeah. that Sanderson did a good job of, yeah. of taking over for for Jordan. That's, that's cool, actually. That's really neat that she had the opportunity to make that decision and you know, yeah. her husband that way by finding someone who she thought would do a good job. Because yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's tough. Can you imagine passing before the the series is done? Yeah. 
I think it was the last three books that Sanderson put together. It was originally supposed to be one, but it was too large and was split into three, if I remember correctly. Okay. Hmm. And Leanna says she was or is an editor. Okay, that makes yeah. Okay, that that makes sense. Okay. Enough. That makes perfect sense. Okay, ready for another sprint? Yep. Do you want to do a forty-minute one? Sure. Okay. Let's do a longer one. <laughs> I'm going to turn off the volume. I'm going to reset, but we're actually going to go. Oops, stop. 40. I have oh. 250 pages left in this book. Woo! I have this left. <laughs> oh, that, that's so exciting. You're so, you're getting there. I am. I still, I still say that that looks like the biggest book. <laughs> Even well, it's, though it's middle grade. So like this much of it is whoops, this much is like extra stuff. Okay. Okay. So like so, this is the last page and then there's all this extra stuff happening in the back. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's still 845 pages. That's still. A lot yeah. Of <laughs> Even if it is middle grade, that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Amanda supports the 40 Yay. minutes. Perfect. Hope you finish. And we oh, see my computer is struggling. Are you frozen? Am I frozen? Yeah, I think that might have to be. Um, but, for me. Now you're Am I back? You see me now? I see you. Okay, good. Yeah, that might have There were two of you for a little bit. I know. This might have to be my last sprint, though, because my computer is definitely uh, struggling. So I'll have to turn it off for yeah. a while. I, I'm having com I've been having more and more computer problems lately. I think that it's time for me to either take it in to have somebody check it out or... I don't know. <laughs> it's been, it, it's been <laughs> having, I tried to, um, for my Sunday sum up, I uploaded all my videos that I need to, to edit and four of them aren't working. So I'm like, Oh no, I, just, I keep having more and more problems with my, my computer. It's just, it's, it's getting sad. It's not very old either. So I don't know what the deal is. Well, I mean, you use it a lot. I do. Yeah, you're right. I use it for work <laughs> and school and this. So it's, right. it's getting tired. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's oops. Let's try this again. Oh, dang it, come on. We can just set set a timer and right? Oh no. Send happy vibes. I'm just gonna read. We can all read. And what about an hour? I will we'll I'd I'd be fine with an hour. <laughs> oh it just kills me that Amy's face is frozen like that. Hi, it's just me. Um, hopefully she's going to come back. Let's just start reading and we'll come back when we come back. 40 minutes-ish. See you in a bit. Looks like uh, zero. Well, well, let's say zero, zero. That's just a nice little even number. It's a little bit more than 40, but all right. We'll see everybody in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it's time for the other Amy to take over. I just had a mini heart attack. <laughs> Yeah. You know what? That's a good 
minute, Naomi. I'm gonna. Well, we're gonna read. We're gonna read until the hour, and I'm gonna put a banner on. I'm not gonna put my little timer on because that's what keeps kicking me out. Is trying to switch back and forth with that. So we're doing a banner. We're going till the end of the uh, the hour, or we're going to this zero zero, and that's what we're gonna do because <laughs> Amy's having issues. This Amy. <laughs> <laughs> and then Amy because she almost had a heart attack, so she's obviously having issues too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is this all like, Kim Whoa. and Neil's fault because they jumped off? <laughs> Blame them. <laughs> <laughs> Your fault, Kim. <laughs> oh, all right. See you in forty-five. See you in forty-five, and and have a good time, Morgan. Too much porn. Is... Oh me? What? Oh, on my computer. Oh, geez, no, no, no. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> I'm going to mute because really nobody needs to hear me laughing while they're...
we gave Amy a second to finish her update. <laughs> it's like, boom, 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 boom. Stuff is going to happen. Stuff is going to happen. Like, That's gosh. exciting. Mm. What did I, I started on page 616. Uh-huh. And I'm at 665. Nice. So, like, I have less than 200 pages left. That's exciting. You're getting there. Oh, my gosh. You're so I have close. that much left. <laughs> I did 25 that round. I have made it 74 pages into this. So, this is definitely going nice. faster than my middle grade last night. <laughs> that, yeah. Huh. Yeah. What do you think but, those would be class those would be classified as YA, don't you think? Yeah. The totally twisted YA. tales? Mm-hmm. Yeah. YA. Because they wouldn't be adults, right? No, they're not adult. They don't read adult. They read YA. Kind okay. of almost younger YA too. Not in a bad way, just in a okay. you know, not as much darkness as some of the older YA. Well, and because I just I wasn't sure if there was any like mature bedroom type stuff. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> but I'm only 74 pages in, so we'll see. Right. But I just I was, I wasn't so. really sure. Yeah. Maybe Kimberly has an idea what the Beauty and the Beast one, if there's any. I don't think so, though. They're, they're, these are pretty I feel, Disney. I feel if, if the cover is going to look that much like the Disney movie, it can't be that much more inappropriate. Do you know what I mean? Like, that would be irresponsible. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I just, I just feel like making it look, yeah, too kid friendly, and then having a whole bunch of spice is just, yeah. I mean, yeah. No, it feels, it feels, it feels very much like the movie, except it goes a different direction. So if it reads that much like the movie, I don't think it's going to be too spicy. Yeah, you know. At the most, a sweet kiss or something kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. There's some other, like, like Disney oh, yeah. story, you know, that are, like, super spice, and you're like, Phew. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think the – I think that you can tell from the, the – But, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look Disney. Like, it's not like, look at this fun Disney story. It's like, – I don't know. So, yeah. No, I – you can kind of tell that those are going to be a little more. Betty Spaghetti. Not but okay. Yeah. Patterson has redeemed himself with her. <laughs> That's good. He had a lovely moment between characters and a character shared advice that I could use. All is forgiven for the frustration. <laughs> See, <laughs> and all in all, he is a good author, but he can be very frustrating. <laughs> I mean, that's why he's so popular, right? He's He yeah. has... He has books that at least people can can enjoy and appreciate for the reasons that they appreciate him. Yeah. Made it through 20, my Aunt Judy is like his biggest fan. So, uh, made it through 25 pages. Natalie did getting me to page 50. Not ready. Oh, so the Elf King is doing okay so far. He's not, not ready to DNF. You still have a few hours left, Natalie, to really decide. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> how to switch book to make lunch but I've got less than an hour left of Unravel Me are you still hating it as much Shell? that sounds spicy it's actually isn't that the Shatter Me it's, it's that kids dystopian series or YA dystopian series <sighs> that was really popular I'm pretty sure that's the second one to Shatter Me and it's dystopian. Huh. Or it could be wrong. Yeah. Uh, it's it's just, yeah. And so Shell was saying how she's just getting tired of YA tropes. But that's the Tahira Mafia. Yeah, they, they can be a bit much. Oh, I think, okay. I think for me because I never really read YA when I was younger reading it now, it doesn't, the tropes don't bother me so much because I haven't really had a chance to get tired of them, you know? Okay. But the unravel me that's right underneath it with the two people half naked on the cover. I mean, 
it sounds spicy <laughs> and apparently it attracts a bunch of men. <laughs> oh. It says YA. No, 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 no. It's the one underneath it. They're both oh. called Unravel Me. Oh, oh I'm just saying. Ryan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah I'm the, just the, saying, the fact that it sounded spicy to me was not that far off. It just no, absolutely. No. It, that book. <laughs> you could know, easily like, mistake one for the, the other. Adult dating sites. Mm -hmm. I, well, yeah. <sighs> I mean, my biggest fans on this channel, obviously. <laughs> Uh, read 136 pages since the start of the first sprint. That is incredible. That's that is awesome. really awesome. Read another chapter plus a short story in another book. Wonderful. 90, 91%, but still about 31 minutes left. You're almost there. You're almost there. Mm -hmm. Eight pages left. Oh my gosh, Naomi, you're so close. Nice. Spent, spent that I time started on 525 and ended at 660, whatever I said. Wow. Six yeah. That's fantastic. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot. Little Dorrit, I've heard you say so much. Mm -hmm. Little Dorrit. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm talking about that little Dorrit bit we're up to. Won't know what to do with myself once that is off my currently. I know. Uh, they've been reading the Little Dorrit for a while. Quite a few months. <laughs> Oh, that title just sounds so funny to me, oh. Little Dorrit. It just sounds like something you would call like a like mm -hmm. a young child. You'd be like, oh, Little Dorrit, come here. Yeah, but or it sounds dog, like a, like know. a derogatory <laughs> kind of way of yeah. calling a little kid. Right? Oh. Mm -hmm. I read 30 and a half, 20 left. Amazing. Nice. Great. Reading turned Sleep. into sleeping. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> that's always nice it too, really though. it really is a nice way to when you're watching sprints because then they wake you up and you don't have to worry about like sleeping too long because they wake you up mm -hmm. <laughs> with the sprints it's kind of nice yeah it is kind of nice so you get like a nice little nap and then once you hear the talking start you're like oh okay ready to get back on yeah Okay. Young yeah. YA, older middle grade. So no, no worrying about the super spicy scenes. Okay. Straight on so the morning was put very it young. in my classroom and not feel like yeah that teacher, <laughs> right? That teacher <laughs> that didn't know forever by Judy Bloom was super inappropriate. And put it in <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Hmm. I've never read it, but apparently, who did there, that? There is naming of male appendages. Ah, pretty. I read it in fifth grade. <laughs> it was all the rage. I mean, I read adult romance. In fifth grade. We had we had all of we had all of the spicy scenes like marked, and then uh -huh. we just like passed around to everybody. It was mm -hmm. mine because I everybody knew that my mom would let me read like whatever I wanted, so I bought it or my mom bought it for me and then they passed my copy around and one of my friends got caught laughing about it and the teacher called my mom into school and then like showed my mom all this stuff. It's literally the only do? time in elementary school I ever got in trouble was because somebody else was reading my book and it was forever by Judy Bloom and my mom was like, it's Judy Bloom. Uh -huh. What do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, well, you should read every book before you put it in her hands. And my mom was like, she will read nothing. What else you got? <laughs> She's like, I'm not going to go home and yell at my daughter for reading a book. It's not worth scarring her for no. life and making her think that it's this shameful thing. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, 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 um, you know, went to the library, the library, you can easily access all kinds of books at the library. And, you know, I was, I was curious. I was a kid, you know, and right. I was like, <laughs> you know, that, that whole, yeah, no, I'm like, I'm not against kids reading that. It's just not something I'm going to put in my classroom. But oh, when I no. went to my first teaching job, I was going through the library of books that were left there in the classroom, the classroom library and forever mm -hmm. was one of them. And it was a Catholic school. Fifth grade. 
Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I just meant I was talking more about your teacher shaming your mom. Like, I was like, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was like, uh, have you read all the books in your classroom library? Because I know you haven't because you said you've told me that you haven't, lady. Yeah. yeah. It was just, Not. yeah. Well, and it was like during detention that my friend was laughing about it. So <laughs> she was weird. like in trouble. And then she was like yeah. reading a book that she, she was having too much fun at detention is what was happening. And then she got in trouble because she was reading this particular book mm -hmm. and it was open to this particular page and they were yelling at her and they've said, it wasn't my book. It's Amy's. Of course. Threw you under the bus. Rude. Yeah. <laughs> Kids. I probably would have done the same thing, but still, <laughs> in fifth grade, I mean, that's... you look for a loophole and that was the loophole she found. I can't you were the loophole, her. Amy. <laughs> <sighs> Welcome, Jane. Um, reading Marvelous Light. Oh, I have it. I want to read it. 12% worked on updating your spreadsheet. How is a Marvelous Light so far? I can't wait to read that one. But I can't wait to read a million books, though. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I am. You're right. What am I? You are. What are you? Why are you right? I forgot. What was it? We we're talking about unraveling. Oh yeah, yeah. And oh, that you were out. Uh, you were you were getting sick of YA tropes. Oh yeah, she was yes, getting yes. sick of sorry, YA tropes. Sorry, yeah. Definitely getting sick of YA tropes. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for having my back, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> I need I all the, the help. Two I of us. We got it. All it's all good. the help I get. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's having a hard time putting the poison heart down. See, I told you you were going to finish it this time around. She's like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to finish it. It's chunky. No, she's how far along how are much you? How much does she have left? Halfway. She's halfway. The next drop isn't until 7 p.m. We've got quite a few hours still. Mm -hmm. Then he read 12 more pages. Awesome. Nice. Read one chapter of When He Was Wicked. This is one of my favorites mm -hmm. in the series. What is the series, When He Was Wicked? Yeah. You know that? Mm -mm. That also sounds spicy. Is it? Is it just me? Is this every book just sound spicy now? I'm having one of those days, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right about the other <laughs> The other day, I literally, I was so sick of my students doing saying that's what she said. Oh, yes, yeah. to each other, yeah. and. I, they know that they can't say it to me. So I just said everything that I could think of in a row. That would be great <laughs> to say that's what she said to. Like, oh, that's huge. <laughs> Get out of there. We were reading an article. I was like, wow, that's really huge. I was not expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> like, like literally their faces that? are turning red they're like Ooh. <laughs> it was like just two i just said those two and i was like guys and they're like they're yeah. like are you seriously doing that on purpose i was like yeah a little bit i'm gonna stop now <laughs> they got themselves in trouble <laughs> their embarrassment serves them right like, come on you guys like hide it from me a little bit like <laughs> So sneaky. So sneaky, those yeah. little ones. Yeah. I wasn't a reader when I was YA age, but once I became an English teacher, I spent most of my time reading middle grade and YA. I read two or three mm -hmm. middle grade for every one adult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I could see that. And I think that's basically what I do, I think. I think my so problem far, is that I've read 17 adults and 30 three middle grade. So, I mean, that's basically, yeah, it, um, I read a lot of adult when I was young. So now I'm going back and reading why in middle grade. <laughs> I did too. I read all the VC Andrews books when I was in middle school and high school. Oh, I never read. That's the like weird incest one, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
like was popular with, with the youngins. The youngins. Yeah. Oh, almost a year. I also year read the Babysitters read. Club and Sweet Valley High, but those were my favorites. I loved Sweet Valley High and Babysitters Club a lot, and um, Sweet Valley High and Girl Talk. Those were the two that I and Babysitters mm. Club. Yeah. Almost a year for for Little Dorit. Little Dorit. And Medea plays a big part in the Poison Heart. This Poison Heart. So that's Mom's. I had read Medea recently, and so she was mentioning how that's in a, a big part of this book. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, got here during. A, welcome back, Bailey. <laughs> um, I know. I we might do one more sprint for like thirty minutes because my computer's okay at the moment. But I think after that we're gonna call it. So. All right. Because I said I would go to two anyways. <laughs> <laughs> my friend in fourth grade, my friend Mike Kinney and I, we knew all the lyrics to Shoop by Salt and Pepper, which is very. <laughs> now that I know, now that I sing it back, I'm like, oh. Fourth grade. Yeah, in middle school, I think it was middle school that Waterfalls came out by TLC. Mm -hmm. And. My teachers were like, that's, they're like, do we tell them it's inappropriate or we, do we just let it go? Like, cause none of us understood like what waterfalls is about. Yeah. What's the matter? I got to tell you guys about my most embarrassing thing. Hi, Amy. Hi. I was at Amy's friend's house and the song came on. I touched myself and I was singing away and then I looked at her family and the parents and the kids and I was so Oh, embarrassed. Oh, so, yeah. It happens at any age. You forgot to remember that that song is about touching yourself. <laughs> oh, I was embarrassed. This poor Amy. <laughs> I was really little because I remember a lot of the embarrassing things. And Diana. Oh, really? Was when I was that song. <laughs> mom has, I have actually no become mostly immune to mom. mom. <laughs> Because mom has no filter. She's never had a filter. And she doesn't know how to, how to be subtle with the jokes. Like the sexual, like you, you make innuendos. There's no innuendos in mom's book. It's just like the actual thing. I'm like, you don't have to say it. It's implied. <laughs> That's why I don't have her on sprints. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> When he we was should have her on the live sprints will be made private afterwards. So I would buy, <laughs> advertise it as that. <laughs> and it, the, the mute. Mute. I just you keep my hand hovering <laughs> over mute. <laughs> I, I actually invited her and she's just not been feeling it. Oh. <laughs> I love that one too. Let's talk about Sex Baby or Bridgerton's. <laughs> Is the book six? It must be Bridgerton's. There's some, definitely some spice. Teacher Christian school and book selection for my shelves cause much frustration. Meg Cabot is one I like, but I guess I can't put a book that has the word vagina in the second page on my shelf. Oh, <laughs> probably not. Probably not. I mean, you can if they've had health already. <laughs> I mean, li really, what is, what, I don't know, I'd put it on my shelf until somebody complained, and then I'd be like, all right, and I'll put it aside, and then once that kid's graduated, I put it back on. No, yeah. I don't do that, but, um, yeah, I, yeah I it's really hard for me to find a YA that I can put, because I teach fifth through eighth grade, so, mm. like, my kids are YA, so... My older kids are YA. My younger kids are definitely middle grade. And it's tough. It's tough. It can yeah. be tough. I could see that. For sure. I could see that. And then you've got your advanced middle grade, you know, fifth grade readers that yeah. want to read those those YA books. but And some they can't, like, they can't handle them. Mm -hmm. You know, like, okay, yeah, you can read it. That doesn't mean you should. Yeah. <laughs> even, even the emotional content sometimes of them maybe yeah. too. But yeah. I would rather have a book that actually says the word vagina mm -hmm. than what, yes. you know, than like 
mm, other words, all the you lewd mean, names and critical name is okay. You know, like <laughs> let's let's give kids the knowledge that they should be called by their actual name. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't think that's something to be ashamed of or embarrassed of. I think it's, in fact, it's, impro yeah. I, I think it's, in, I think in fact, it's appropriate, but it's really difficult when it comes to teaching kids, you know, you have to be careful. There's so many people with so many opinions. Mm -hmm. that you have So to I have books that I keep behind my desk. Mm -hmm. And when I have students that I think can handle them, that are looking for something to read, then I will bring them out more. But Ferris, like I don't, like Ferris from the Lunar Chronicles mm -hmm. is behind my desk. Like I don't let just any kid read that because it has that scene Heavy in duty. it that, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. like. Yeah, no, I get it. I do. And actually that's really clever. That is really clever because you know, you, you know your students so you know which ones can handle something that's a little more a little beyond them emotional yeah. development wise and, yeah. and i always tell my students if you get to something that you that you would feel embarrassed to talk to your parents about you yeah. have to stop that's and they usually do but because i'm like if you can't handle talking about this to your parents then you're not mature enough to read it so yeah. if you yeah. can't admit that it's in there to your parents then you shouldn't be reading it so yeah. and then they're pretty good about um, monitoring that kind of thing. That's good. Okay. Love Bridgerton, but can't listen to them on the way to work. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so red? <laughs> are you breathing at me? Did you I run to school? <laughs> good my current stats stats are 42 adult 33 middle grade and 29 young adult that's a good spread actually that's a really good yeah spread. yeah good morning Ooh. welcome from australia how are you doing it's pretty it's pretty early there isn't it <clears throat> yeah yeah it's mom kim's laughing at you <laughs> <laughs> Her dad's behavior, embarrassing behavior once he started singing his horrible opera in the mall. I never understood movie teens that get found by embarrassed by their parents. <laughs> I, right. My mom, my whole family actually yes. did a lot of really embarrassing. They were embarrassing. And it was all like, like we were at a restaurant and they were talking dirty or not dirty, dirty, but like, you know, saying words that I'm like, and I'm the kid going, there's kids at the table over there, you guys, shh. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> my family. Oh. So I got desensitized to it pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah. I went to see Monsters Inc. with one of my friends and we were in line and he like was swearing or he swore it just once. And I just looked at him and he was like, oh, there's kids here. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, you just said it again. <laughs> I got to work on that because I do, I don't swear a ton, but I swear enough that everyone, if I trip and I like, I, which I've done recently. And when I was working on fish tanks in one of the classrooms that I, I go and take care of the salmon, I tripped or I dropped something and I was like, shit. And I was like, oh, it's fourth graders. And, and the teacher's like, it's okay, it's okay. And I'm like, no, it's not. I got to get better about that. I had I had a conversation with my students once. We were outside reading, so we were like out on the steps of the school. It was super nice out, and they were reading to themselves. And somebody said something about something inappropriate being in their book. And I was like, "Can you handle it, or can you not handle it?" And he's like, "Well, I can handle it." And then he said, "Well, Miss Bowman, what's what what's the difference if I swear or if I like accidentally swear?" And I was like, "Because people accidentally swear sometimes, but." swearing to see if you can get me upset is a lot more disrespectful than accidentally swearing because mm -hmm. something happened and they're like, oh, okay. And you know, they're kind of getting it. And all of a sudden two bikers go by and her cha uh, the chain of one of the bikers oh. broke and she oh. went, Oh, fuck. 
And then she turns bright red. She keeps going. And my kids are laughing hysterically. And I was like, that's an example of when I wouldn't get upset with you. Yeah, it's that's frightening. <laughs> but yeah. I said there is no way she was doing that to see if I would be upset. Right. <laughs> very, very good example. Oh my gosh. 6 30 a.m. That is early. Yeah, wow. Early. You're a trooper. Total trooper. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have read so many middle grade books this year compared to normal. It is all because the long series I'm working on. Oh, Anne of Green Gables. What other long series are you working on? Oh, Anne of Green Gables is mostly YA, actually, right? Yeah. The first one, that's like, not, grade. I mean, that's only eight. Well, oh, I mean, Magic Treehouse. Naomi's reading Magic Treehouse. That's <sighs> I love those. <laughs> I've never read one of them. I've I've read a, a couple to classes. The Magic Tree House and Animorphs are two that I learned because of BookTube that I never came across in my years of being younger. Yeah, I read Magic like so I would go down to the first grade classroom and the first grade teacher would teach my kids Spanish and I would go down and I would read with them and they would have snack. So I read aloud to them and I read like the first three magic tree houses, I think to them. And then they had to read them on their own, but yeah. that's fun. Yeah. That was fun. I miss doing that. It is fun. Oh, first boy. grade is fun to visit in. They're so cute. <laughs> They're, so They're so cute. I did that at my first fire drill at my current school. I used <laughs> <laughs> it was with high school students. They graduated last year and still laugh when I see them. <laughs> Rude. They're like, oh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. It's I have that that's that is a reaction when I when I when I hurt myself or and I gotta get used to saying something else when I do that because otherwise it's gonna happen if I fall or trip or drop stuff. So I've yeah. got to find another way to express myself when I <laughs> and start getting the habit of it. Uh, now, I just always think of the good place where they're like, mother forking shirt balls. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, okay, I'll work on something like that. Magic. <laughs> Treehouse, Oz, and some other ones. Yes, that's okay. I knew it was Magic Treehouse, Oz also. Never read Magic Tree. Oh, good, Bailey. I'm not the only one. Was it Junie B. Jones? <gasps> yeah. Junie B. Jones. Never read that either. Stinky so. Smelly Bus. That was way, we were too old for those. Old for it? Okay. By the time they uh, came out. Yeah, okay. Like they would have come out in like the 90s, early 2000s. So we would have okay. been in high school. Okay. I remember Magic School Bus and Bernstein Bears yeah. and <laughs> stuff like that. But Right. Yeah. Love Magic Tree House yeah. books. Yeah, I read all of them. Okay. Oh well, good. I, I you know, it's just it's just because I'm old. That's not that makes sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I still read some and I'm like five months older than you, so <laughs> In high school, I was reading classics because I was a nerd. <laughs> classics that were not assigned to me. <laughs> but I wasn't reading my books for school because I didn't do my homework for school. So I just read classics outside of my schoolwork. <laughs> That's, that, I was weird. I, love magic I read as little as I could for class so that I could read yeah. the stuff I wanted to read. <laughs> That's smart. Yeah, I did as little homework as I possibly could in high school. And I'm making up for it by going back to college in my late years. <laughs> it's, you know, it's good learning experience. Stop saying your late years. You're younger than me. <laughs> by five months. It's so disrespectful to your elder. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm in class every day with 19, 20 year olds. <laughs> it's true. Every day. <laughs> Actually, they yeah. make me feel younger. <laughs> yeah. 
love Magic Treehouse. I read a few when I was younger. My brother and I had them. And then I also have also read them to kids. I used to babysit and teach. I've got to read them now. Magic Treehouse slapped. <laughs> I read Judy P. Jones as well. Yes, good place. What a fork. What, what the fork? What the fork? I haven't read the good Why one. can't I see what the fork? Why can't I say fork? Holy <laughs> shirt balls. Why can't I say shirt balls? <laughs> I'm going to get in the habit of that. That's perfect. You're still being published. I only have two left, and then I will finish the most recent one. You say Liza Minnelli around my niece in place of swearing. My niece tried it to other people, and they thought it was incredibly <laughs> Yeah, because nobody, would, nobody knows who Liza Minnelli is now. <laughs> Liza my Minnelli, mom would always know. say, Jeepers Christmas. <laughs> Jeepers Christmas? Jeepers Christmas. And one of my aunts would say cheese and rice. <laughs> oh, that's a cute one. I like cheese and rice. Yeah. Amanda finished Arusha. It's done. Yay! I hope you enjoyed it. Going to call April reading done and just watch YouTube for the rest of the day or nap or pack or whatever. That sounds like a good plan. You did a lot this month, Amanda. Mm -hmm. Kids who read through my English class, and it pains me to make them put it away because maybe they don't need need what I'm teaching. I mean, reading is like <clears throat> they're reading, <laughs> but yeah. you know. It's, I so my my first grade my literacy teacher was talking about doing closed and open reading when it comes to their reading uh, workshops and stuff like that, where for a week or two weeks she has open reading where they can read whatever they want and then then she warns them we're coming up on a closed week and then you have to read to expand their their reading but they then they know that the next couple of weeks are going to be open weeks or something like that and i thought that was clever because it gives them a chance to read whatever mm -hmm. they want so they have the choice at that point but then they yeah. know they're coming up on a period when they need to read what they will use to expand their literacy and i was like oh i could do that that's interesting yeah, I thought that was kind of a cool idea. Because then it doesn't yeah. feel that, like, yeah. So then if they want to read. It's a little more choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, clever. Also just added my May reading templates. To it's Oh, good. Good. I use those. Woohoo! If anybody <laughs> wants good reading templates, go follow Amanda on Instagram. The Reading and Writing Life is her Instagram. And she always has templates she puts up. And not enough people use them. And she's doing all this work for us. It's so wonderful. Congrats, Amanda. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Only if I get to carry a staff and have pointy ears and wear a nice hat. You have to have a long beard that goes all the way to the ground. No, oh, what's our friends again? The, the elder women wouldn't have a beard. <laughs> They'd wear a nice hat. <laughs> I know that's probably true, but <laughs> oh, I thought I just blocked them. Oh, there's more than oh. one. Yeah. Because, oh my gosh. An error occurred. It's now saying there's an error occurring. It won't let me block. Well, in the people in the chat should be able to block them too. I put them in timeout. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I was able to block them for oh, five Oh, they're minutes. only in there for five minutes. Mm. <laughs> Usually I tell them, can I put that away until we are done? They put that away until we're done. And please tell me what you think about that book at break. Yeah, that's nice. Wanted to read it and want to know if it's worth it. They do too. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Amy Senior. <laughs> Amy just went and unfollowed both Kim and Naomi. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> and I'm going to promote both of your channels here. They'll retaliate and, re and unfollow me if they are. I don't know. But come on. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> she gets a thousand followers and thinks nobody else needs them. <laughs> Everybody better go follow Amy. <laughs> <laughs> At least they had pretty emojis. Emojis. That's a really good point, Betty. <laughs> Betty's been really keeping track of these. 
<laughs> oh, thank you, Jean. Yes, it's See? true. It's true. I tried to tell you, Amy. I'm smart. <laughs> no, wiser. <laughs> wiser. <laughs> Thank you, Betty. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it takes a village. Story. It takes a village, you know? Yeah, well, I need all your help because for some reason it wasn't letting me. Maybe I've come to my my maximum of blocking for whatever reason. That's ridiculous. Oh, man. Okay, let's do, let's do a sprint to the top of the hour. That sound good? Yeah. All what right. time is it? I'm looking all over the, for the place. For... 1.35. It'll be a 25 minute sprint. <laughs> Alrighty. <clears throat> okay. Happy reading, everyone. Happy reading. Also, Kim, I knew you were just kidding. No yeah. hard feelings. <laughs> Love El Amy the Elder. <laughs>
talk about timing. Right? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't ease into that. <laughs> but I didn't scare anybody. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How'd it go? The sprint or the bathroom? <laughs> uh, the sprint. You're reading. How did you read it go, Amy? I was just like, seriously? You can't say I know what you thought I was talking about. No. <laughs> I didn't read as much. This is like the longest chapter ever. <laughs> I think um, I read 16 pages. I mean, I read 24 pages, but they're all in the same chapter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, yeah. I still have. Like yeah, I still have. 12 more pages left in the chapter. <laughs> but I am 90 pages <sighs> in. So definitely going faster on this one. Well, I guess about the same, actually, because I think I was on for five and a half hours last night and I got about 98 pages in this one. So that's about the same. Only difference is I have more time to read this one. Well, not if I'm working on my Sunday sum up, but what do you need to do? Those videos will work. What page are you on? Sorry. 90. No, don't be sorry. It's a ring. 90. 90. Okay. Yeah, so I'm at 684. So I'm almost to page 700, which, like, the end of this chapter is going to be almost page 700. And then I'll, <clears throat> excuse me. 145 pages left. So nice. You're getting there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that I'm going to finish this in April. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Chris is okay with that. <laughs> she has not planning on it. She hasn't touched in in a while, but we both like wanted to finish it. Mm -hmm. But my other buddy, Reed, we both wanted to finish it, and we're both like, we're not going to finish it. <laughs> we'll finish it maybe tomorrow. But, you know, that's fine. That happens. Oh, um, yeah. Like, I don't, I'd rather read it, like, take my time and, like, absorb it than, mm -hmm. you know, oh, yeah, finish it too. because it's the end of April. Like, this is middle grade reading. I can read it nice and, you know, like, it just reads faster. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, Surviving Savannah, I'm, like, halfway yeah. done. So, like, to rush through the last half. You know, like, I just don't want to rush through the last half because it's so yeah. historical and it's ju I'm jumping through, jumping down rabbit holes at every corner because it's yeah. about an actual ship that sank in an actual mm -hmm. disaster, you know, so. Yeah. But so I might not finish that. Yeah, I wouldn't rush it. I wouldn't rush it. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to finish it. I'm just not going to finish it in yeah. April. In April. It's really good. We love it. <laughs> yeah, not one to rush. Yeah. Read another, read another chapter and things are happening. Thanks to the sprints. Mm -hmm. We'll probably go to bed now though. Yeah, we're going to, this is, that was our last sprint for, for this round. So, cause I yeah. have to do, I have to do other stuff. <laughs> yeah. We'll see if my computer lets so me know. Do you have, do you have all of the prompts like rolled already? Yeah. Because my week was so hectic and chaotic, I rolled them in advance so that I could just set up all the videos in advance and not worry about it. So I already know what's mm -hmm. going to happen, which it's not quite as fun <laughs> as rolling them as I go. But, you know, it was a rough week, so I just needed to have things set up so I wasn't stressing about getting all this yeah. set up. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, well, maybe I'll have mom roll. Well, mom was participating, but I was like, maybe we can have somebody else roll for me. But then I still have to edit it and put it up. <laughs> right. <laughs> work. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. I, I mean, I I it's not too much time. editing, though, because it's like two minutes. No, they right? were quick. They were quick. Yeah. But I was thinking, like, if I roll. Yeah. So 
still have to do it. And my, you know, my mom doesn't edit, so it's not like I could have her just do it and, or somebody else okay. do it. And, and, uh, I, um, like I was thinking, well, I could do it on the sprints, but then not everybody wants to necessarily join the sprints or can join the sprints. And it's easier to have like an actual video where they draw. So I don't know. It, yeah. And then knowing what the book is before you get to the sprint is also mm -hmm. kind of nice too, I think. I thought so too. That's why I've been dropping them kind of before the sprint so that yeah. um, people have time to figure out what they're going to read and not yeah. scrambling to look for something that sprint comes up. So. Yeah. I mean, it'll happen again. I definitely want to do more readathons like this in the future with the game. And, you know, uh, it's just a learning experience. I can see what, what feels really good, what needs to be worked on a little bit, and then tweak it for the future or something. something. But I think it's going okay. I think everybody seems to be engaged and having fun with it. I'm having fun with it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, except that whole yellow cover thing. <laughs> I have to be very careful what I say. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why. It was like, she you don't have that, like, as part of your game. So I was like, I don't know why I thought that, but I did. Yeah. And I wasn't the only one. So I No, you I weren't. No, you weren't. There were a handful. And, and it, I didn't, you know, my little thing, I just put middle grade. <laughs> so, yeah. But it was my fault for the way I worded things, you know, and I totally get it. And you weren't, well, you weren't the only one. It was part of the bonus. So it wasn't like, this mm -hmm. is the actual. Prompt. Yeah. So like yeah. that part wasn't confusing. Like the actual prompt was animal companion, you know? Yeah. So that wasn't confusing at all. So like, it was just a challenge and I think it worked out. Yeah. It, added it an did extra add an extra though. challenge. So yeah. Like, fine. <laughs> <laughs> it was fine. Yeah. It, it, I thought it was great. It was, it was perfect. It actually was yeah. really funny. So it worked out great. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's read 68 pages, but continue to read during your, our last break. Yeah, she's having a hard time putting it down. This book is getting freaky. Freaky. Yeah. Uh, Naomi finished my next Bible book on audio before I dive into a bigger book later. Yeah, that's those big books. Halfway through chapter three of Shadow of Night. Ah, liking it. So many new characters. I can't wait. Oh, I'm so excited about that book. <laughs> As you can tell. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> tell us how you really feel, Amy. <laughs> well. <laughs> uh, ooh, glass of I wine. For five minutes and then went and got myself a glass of wine instead. <laughs> I mean. That's perfect. Yeah, smart. I, I would probably Those are legit them. options. Yeah. Also finished for the love of Mike and gave it four stars. Oh, good. <gasps> oh, and you didn't think you were going to like it. Yeah. That's awesome. That worked out perfectly. Bailey ended up eating. I want to write that down. For the love of Mike. For the love of Mike. Yeah, I'm not about rushing. I'm getting an extension for Magical Readathon. Yeah, I've got an extension for Magical Magical Readathon for sure. <laughs> up until the next term. <laughs> what, do you, what, what do you do to get the extension? It's, there's no extension. It's a joke. Like, because we're in school, oh, you know, we're getting you get, Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you literally do have until the next thing, right? Yeah. Okay. And, and she is very, like, she she's like, do whatever you need to do. She's she's very laid back. <laughs> so, I am not This sounds so about. fun. Fun's yes, on. so you know if I can read Station 11 in the morning or not. Oh, so you um, <laughs> I'm not saying anything, but <laughs> not saying anything. It's a fantastic read. On a way to <laughs> we need <a> more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fun. Naomi, Naomi and Naomi will be on tomorrow or tonight. Tomorrow. Oh, hey, how you doing, Elena? Elena, Alana, Alana. Hi. You know, I'm sorry, but I know a lot of. <laughs> I would pronounce that as Elena, but. And I know an Elena I, that I work with. I so would, yeah. The same, so. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to say it wrong, but. Yeah. If you want to say it phonetically in the comments, I would love to know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm participating, have been able to be on the sprints, but hopefully the next one. Yes, yes, please, hopefully the next one. If not, we're still here. We're still here. You can always go back and look at them. They'll be on my channel. Mm -hmm. the excellent. Oh, good. Ah, 
this one for the animal companion. I'm glad you're loving it. Yeah. Such a good book. Yeah, my one of my students read that and she I saw her reading it and I was like, oh my gosh, my friend Amy read that and it's just like she just loved it and you have to tell me what you think. And so like we were freaking out about it, you know. And so then all her classmates heard it. So now it's like <laughs> going through all of her classmates. And it's hers. So they love it when they can like let their classmates re like borrow their books. They're like, Oh, that's so cool. Libraries. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> that's so exciting <laughs> yeah so good that's like starting yeah. to make the rounds <laughs> so i'm you know i'm working with fifth graders this term and their librarian they're always reading books in their class and their librarians always coming in and bringing them books during our lessons <laughs> i'm always like mm, can't you wait lady but it's fun because when they get to be like oh I love that book. I've heard about that book. And like, they're reading all these different books. I'm like, that I actually know because you yeah. know, I have a book tube. So I'm like, whereas a lot of my classmates who are also student teachers don't, they don't talk about the books. But I'm always like, what's that one about? Do you like it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I'm right. so good to connect on that. that level. Yeah. And it's so important because they like kids see that excitement. And when teacher, like teachers that have like no idea what any of the books their kids are reading are about are just like, they can feel that lack of excitement, like, mm -hmm. you know, but like, so teachers need to be able to at least fake excitement is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. it's so <laughs> I'm not saying that teachers yeah. have to read every book their kids read, but like, I'm constantly like, oh my gosh, that one's on my, on my TBR, you know, yeah. and it usually is like, I don't usually lie about it, but my TV, like they understand that my TBR is way longer than I will ever be able to read. Like they get that. <laughs> Yeah. But just knowing that they have a book and they're going to read it before I get to read it gives them this like surge of energy that <laughs> it does. And it we, and even just having that conversation, like even if you said something like, oh, I've been hearing mixed things about that. What do you think? Like, you know, yeah. that, that makes mm -hmm. them feel like you actually care what they think, which is. Yeah. And like true. some of them, you know, some of them where I can be like, oh, I hated that book. <laughs> and they're well, like, course. I'm going to prove you wrong. <laughs> Yeah, that is so cool. Oh, it's been awesome. I like the fifth graders a lot. I mean, I love the first grade. I mean, like, I don't know how I'm ever going to choose what grades I want to teach because I'm just loving all the grades that I get to work with. Yeah. And it's book three in the Molly Murphy series by Reese Bowen. So that's okay. Molly Murphy. It's Alana. Okay, Alana. Good. Uh, it's after Hawaiian steak sauce. <laughs> really? That's cool. Alana. Nice. Okay, I'll try to remember Alana. that. Because I think I've always thought Alana when I've seen your name spelled out, but then a person I work with goes by Alana, which is one that I haven't heard very often. But now I have to, I had to like push my brain to think Alana, but Alana, I can do this. I can do this. Just correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I'm happy to be corrected when it comes to names. Yeah. Um, impossible. To I think it's a lot of people sort of thing. I think, Shell, you are the exception, not the rule. Yes! Yes! Amy's unite! Amy's unite! <laughs> I don't think that's strictly Amy's. <laughs> well, before I, she has I a chance to comment it. back, let's go! <laughs> Can I put her on mute again? <laughs> oh, well, this has been wonderful. This has been a yeah, lot of fun. It's been fun. Thank you so much for inviting me and running the readathon. It's really fun. Yeah, this is a blast. Thank you so much for joining me, Amy. <laughs> and we'll definitely have to do an Amy Squared uh, reading sprint sometime soon in the future. Yes, I do like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Amy Squared. Sounds like a good plan. Three hundred something. <laughs> Page is one person. <laughs> I told you we should have cut out quick before she was able to respond. <laughs> Everybody deserves a chance to respond, Amy. <laughs> I've known Shell for a long time. <laughs> I just know the way her brain works. <laughs> uh, with that, this has been wonderful. <laughs> Oh, I see? Love.
736. Jean, Jean, awesome. Okay, we're not going to get a war going on here. <laughs> uh, with that, it's been so wonderful. The next drop is going to be in... What is it in? I have a timer going on Instagram. If you ever want to see, go check out my Instagram story. I have... Uh, come on, come on, come on. Four hours and 13 minutes. Um, so four hours and 13 minutes for the next drop, our next sprints. Um, so that's actually at 6.30 my time, Pacific Standard Time, because um, I think that the next one, people will need a little more time to think about it. And that's all I'm going to say. And so this <laughs> will be at 7 PST. You'll have 30 minutes to pick your book. Or, you know, you can always obviously pick your book whenever you want to. But um, I think that would be, I just want to give you a little more time. So that's Wait, did you just drop. say 7.30 or 6.30? 6.30 is when the prop prompt will drop. Oh, okay. Drop. And then... <laughs> 7 is when the prompt will drop. Prompt. 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 Oh, lives where you can't take out all those stutter, all the stutters. Uh, Kim, I will have no books left on my TBR if that would happen. Then <laughs> she would delete them all. Of course she would. <laughs> Thank you for Do being you have fourteen hundred like physical books. No, like, that no, you no, own, no. or is I that your Goodreads? On Goodreads, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have a bunch yeah. of books on there I should just get rid of because I don't know why yeah. they're on there anymore. But. Yeah. It's, uh, <sighs> um, also, please, before I forget, make sure you check out uh, Amy's channel, Kim's channel, and Danielle's channel. All the information is in the description box below. And go follow them. They are amazing booktubers. And I'm so happy that you guys were all able to join me. So that was wonderful. Bailey may stay awake just to see the drop. <laughs> And then pop in around one thirty. Ooh, yeah. With little Mabel, you guys, you keep fun hours. <laughs> one hundred books because I get the world. Yeah, that's the same with Shell. And that I, that that is valid. You might not even notice what books she deleted. Yeah, she would delete. And here's the thing: who picks all her books though? <laughs> because I have so many options. <laughs> Anyways. Um. Uh, well, and then I have like my own, like I have an owned TBR shelf and then a want to read shelf. So like my owned, and yeah. I don't have every book that I own on my own TBR shelf because I just started doing that and I've just started like, figuring yeah. that out. Most of my so. physical, I ha I went and set it up. So when I, when I got rid of a whole bunch of books and rearranged my books and stuff like that, I, I set up my physical books I own on my Goodreads. So I do have an yeah. idea of how many, and there's just like, there's a few new ones that I haven't put on there yet. Yeah. Yeah. It helps to have a record of what you have. Yeah. Of what you actually own. Yeah. So I've got to get through those. So but my Goodreads says I only own like 30 books and that's, oh, <laughs> that's not, not true. <laughs> <laughs> oh. anyway. all right thank you everyone see you for the next sprints and the next book mm -hmm. drop yeah it was so nice to see everybody's comments and talk with you all it was so much fun thank you it so much for having me you. amy it was a lot of oh, fun thank you amy amy squared amy squared <laughs> plus right, kim and you. danielle Yes, plus <laughs> equals yeah, <exactly>. chaos. <laughs> Much chaos. <laughs> but fun chaos. Fun yeah. chaos. Oh, it was fun. <laughs> and all our weird porn, porn spam. Oh, yeah. Mm, that was fun. That, that was interesting. <laughs> oh, all right. Man. <laughs> all right. Bye.